Welcome, one and all, to Scotch and Smoke Rings, episode 676. Good to have you on the program today. It's cold. It's so cold. I don't like how cold it is. I have to have my window open because I'm smoking in here. And I don't want smoke to permeate the house. But it's cold. So I've got layers. I've got my shirt. I've got my sweater. I've got my duck hunting vest. I'm feeling pretty protected in, uh, from the, um, the cold in my duck hunting vest. Not that I've ever taken a duck hunting, but I could. Good to have you on the program today. It is time for Scotch and Smoke Rings, and we will be continuing with A Devil in Me, The Devil in Me. And, uh, you know, we've been having a moderate amount of fun, I'd, <laughs> I'd say, with this game. It's, I wouldn't say that we're, we're thrilled by the game. I'd say that fun has been had in a moderate way. It's moderately entertaining. I'm trying to spice it up a bit, but so far my entertainment level is here. Which, you know, is better than here. But it's not quite here. I am so glad to see each and every one of you today. So a couple of things. I worked on my Facebook account uh, to try and get the stars rolling again. I don't know if it worked because... If there's a problem with my account, Facebook is having a really hard time actually clarifying what it is that I need to change in order to re-enable stars. Another problem is that they have told me that stars are enabled, so I don't know why uh, my Facebook friends are having a hard time with uh, stars. So maybe try donating stars if you can. Let me know if they've got it fixed. I'm still getting, uh, getting a connection error issue with my rebroadcaster. Uh, they're having a hard time connecting to Facebook Gaming. So I don't know if the star issue is fixed, but you can become a member now. You can subscribe and become a member on Facebook, so that's good. Um, then, in terms of YouTube memberships, 14 to go until I unlock another um, emoji. I think that's new emojis. I should have looked at it, but... Um, it said there were 14 more to go, so if you want to see a new emoji today, go ahead and um, donate some memberships to the community. I'm sure there are many watching right now who would be absolutely thrilled to have some uh, temporary donated memberships if you're feeling so generous. And then if I get enough of them, we'll try to get another emoji uploaded um, in enough time. I've got three more emojis crafted and ready to go. Uh, my, my YouTube account just has to get high enough in terms of memberships in order to use them all. We've got the new body pillow one. We've got the new standing on chicken one. And I've got a couple more that I, I can't wait to share with you. Good to have Roman, Matthew, Jessica, Richard on Facebook today. So good to see you. And of course, it's wonderful, uh, wonderful to see all of the regulars and the members and the Patreon subscribers and the mods on YouTube today. No Name, Murden, Philippe, Snowman, Alt Grendel, Automatic Beats, Grant Haber, Random Fandom, Julian Z, Greg, John Turner, I am G Snap, Ghost Boner, Mr. Virus, and No Name with the first super chat of the week time flies like an arrow fruit flies like a banana fruit flies like a banana that they do but what exactly do time flies look like and do they like any arrow or like the arrow on a compass or so many questions that I would love to have answered. John W. says, will you cover Nuka World on tour in Fallout 76? Probably. Uh, so my plan for that is to cover it maybe next week. Because next week I have a number of charity live streams planned for Fallout 4 Hope in support of St. Jude's uh, Cancer Research for Children. So my plan for next week is to live stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday whereupon I'll be playing all sorts of games, and I might actually tackle Nuka World on tour at that time, depending on what you guys want to see. And then Friday, I am doing an interview with a Fallout voice actor. You can find more details on my Twitter. I'm really excited about it. Uh, excited about it. Adrian Parker with the Gold Derby says, Hey, Ox, hope the day went well. What do you think of the game so far? Keep up the great work. Cheers to you, good sir. I'm... I'm moderately entertained by it. It's okay. 
I've enjoyed some of the other entries in the Dark Pictures Anthology a bit more. Um, not to say that this game isn't fun. I am having fun, and there are a number of questions that are raised that are interesting, but uh, it's kind of plodding. Does that make sense? Like, it's, it's taking a long time to really find its own. And that is actually pretty typical of these games. In the first one, Man of Medan, the entire first broadcast, I was like, didn't know if I was into it. But by the second broadcast, I was getting into it. I was really enjoying exploring the ghost ship. It came into its own. Uh, the others came into their own much more quickly, I think. Uh, Little Hope was a little bit more slow. Uh, but this one, like, I'm, this is my third broadcast into it, and I'm, I haven't really resonated with any of the characters yet. And I think one of the things is that all of the hallways look identical. And we're exploring this, this murder hotel, which in and of itself is cool, but many of the times when we get access to a new character, we're exploring the same hallway. Now, they have spiced it up a little bit by hearing screams coming from certain doors or having a false wall appear. So, you know, it's a bit too early to say I'm moderately entertained by it. And I'm looking forward to being even further entertained by it as the broadcast goes on today. Mark from Sales says, why is it always so cold during Christmas? Because it's December. With that, it's time to talk about alcohol. I'm drinking a rum and coke today. Cheers. Mmm. And I decided to make an old-fashioned with scotch. I don't know if you're supposed to. I'm probably violating some sort of cardinal scotch rule, but it's good. Mm. So I'll take it. Adam M. says, I was sweating today. Well, good for you. I wish I was sweating because it's cold and I'm feeling freezing over here. But I'm glad that you're not freezing. The Fat Gamer says, hey, Oxford. What's a pirate's favorite letter? You'd think it'd be R, but in truth, it be the C. Pirate's favorite letter, C. It be the C. Thank you for that one, the Fat Gamer. Then Ian Chamberlain, a member for 20 months, says, Happy to be here. Love these types of games. Play on, sir. Thank you very much, Ian Chamberlain. And uh, Niuka gifted five Oxhorn memberships. Hey, thank you, Niuka, and congratulations to Bigfoot's Real Loading dot 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 JJ Mergazen Grobos and Jeremy Gray. Congratulations to all of you. Alt Grendel says my theory about the surrender and plague was to surrender to your fans so you can confront and conquer them. What? I don't want to conquer my fans. I like having all my fans here. I don't need to one-up them in any way. Um, yeah, the the ending to a, a Plague Tale um, Requiem. Well, I walked away wanting. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for those who missed the broad broadcast on Wednesday, yesterday. Um, I, yeah, I wasn't a fan. <laughs> I mean, there was so much good to say about a Plague Tale Requiem. It's not a bad game. It is a good game. I was just disappointed with much of the story. Some of the plot elements didn't make a lot of sense. That's just my take on that. Adam M. gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you so much, Adam M. And congratulations to Cody London, Chris Schwadrer, Jerome Betters, Joseph Wolf, and a uh, Wolf, and Sat Satrio you, uh, Praskos, I'm butchering your name. Wow. Satrio. We'll just call you Satrio. Thank you, Satrio. And thank you, Adam M. Ocean Man became a member uh, uh, for five months or six months and a gold ox. Thank you, Ocean Man. Lane Berry with a gold derby says, I'm at Top Golf. Sorry, I can't watch tonight. You're the man, Ox. Can't wait to donate to St. Jude's. I'm really looking forward to next week. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've got a good lineup of games that I can't wait to play. It's going to be great. Greg says, hey, Ox, I think you have a smudge on your camera in the upper left. Just thought I'd let you know. Cheers to the most excellent, excellent community out there. Thank you, Greg. Upper left.
There, I hope I got it. Thanks for letting me know there, Greg. Julian Z says, good evening, Oxhorn, on this. Scotch and Smoke Rings, hope you're well. Did you catch any of the Game Awards? The Last of Us Part 1 comes to PC on March 20, in March of 2023. And other... And another Star Wars game, a sequel to The Fallen Order. You know what? I was at the Game Awards last year, and I didn't go this year because I didn't want to. And uh, no, I haven't been following it because I have been preoccupied with work on my lore series. I'm making great progress. I recorded probably about four hours of footage for it today alone, and I'm trying to get through it because I want to minimize my downtime. On live streams, as I've said, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm pausing my live streams on those days, with the exception of next week, because it's charity uh, for the holidays. I'm pausing my live streams on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays until I can get my footage done for the first episode in the extension of my lore series, because that needs to be my priority. I got to get that done. But never fear, I will be resuming my live streams. Mark from Sales gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you, Mark from Sales, and congratulations to Alan L. Huda probably not Mothman, Coach24, and Sam Timothy. Thank you, Mark, from sales. Does that push me over? That's like 15, right? Okay, let me check to see if I can upload a new emoji really quick, and I'll let you know. Hold on. All right, just got to close this out and refresh the page here. Kind of hard to do with so many tabs open, but shouldn't take too much longer. Waiting on, on Chrome here. Okay, and it's refreshed. Now if I can pop out the customization of my default search. Once that's done, I'm gonna navigate on over to the emoji section and where am I at? Oh, crap. Crap. Okay, well, it looks like I can't upload a new emoji yet because in the time between last week and now, um, even more of the temporary memberships had um, uh, expired, which pushed me down to the previous tier. So I had needed 14 more to get back to the tier that I got to last week when I was able to upload my um, stomping on chicken emoji. So I need 93 more, <laughs> uh, which I doubt that I'm going to be able to do this broadcast. But I've got a charity live stream coming, and maybe I'll get a bunch of new memberships from that. Anyway, I've got three new emojis in the queue ready to upload, and I need 93 more subscribers before I'll be able to do that. So just need to grow, and that's okay. Everyone needs to grow. Kate says, hey, Ox, glad to catch you again. I feel like the people in this game are too dumb to live. Going to play Plague Tale 2 over winter break. Hope you like it. Um... Thank you. I hope I enjoy the game. Yeah, many of the characters in these Dark Pictures Anthologies games make silly decisions. But to be fair, we can make some of the decisions for them. So hopefully we can intervene on their behalf to save their lives. We really ended with a bit of a cliffhanger last time. We made a decision that might have saved a guy's life or might have got him killed. I guess we'll find out today. And I hope you enjoy Plague Tale 2. Ashamed Spork says, Evening Ox, Saturday is my 33rd birthday. Can I get a smoke ship with the curator as the captain in all of his epic glory? Absolutely. No more than one smoke ship, a broadcast. Here it is. I hope you didn't blink, because if you did, you probably missed it. But there, for the briefest of moments before your very eyes, was the curator from the Dark Pictures Anthology on the ghost ship from Men of Medan, the first entry into this series. And he was the captain of that ship in all of his epic glory. Thank you for that one, Ashamed Spork, and happy 33rd birthday. Trip Wire, a member for 14 months and a silver ox, says, 14 months. Glad to be here, ox, and love the show. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, Trip Wire. Hope you're doing well as well. No Name says, what do cows read the most? Catalogs. Old fashioned, save me now. 
Thank you, No Name. That was great. Catalogs. <laughs> Matthew Ryan with a spamming of star emojis on Facebook says it was a wonderful 80 something degrees down here in Texas, Ox. Well, good for you. I'm glad you were enjoying it. I'm freezing over here in my little studio. Jessica says, I just got done running with Deacon in Fallout 4. Sometimes he says the weirdest things. He's one of the most intriguing companions, definitely. Um, I tried to get as many of his odd sayings as possible when I did my lore video profile on Deacon. So if you think you missed some, check out that video. Maybe I covered them. No name. Uh, no, I read that one. Thank you. No name. Julian Z says, also, Ox Plagues take had another ending. If you waited long enough, Lucas kills Hugo. Really? Also, you will be happy to know, even though it was nominated, Plague's Tale did not win the best narrative direction. Okay, thank you, Julian Z. Well, uh, I, I had no idea that it had multiple endings. Um, we, I guess we'll leave the audience who missed the broadcast yesterday wondering what the ending I got was, because my ending was not that ending. Uh, you know what? I thought the game had a lot of wonderful things about it, but I don't think it deserved best in narrative direction. I'm curious to find out who, uh, which game did, though. Cleansed in Fire, a member for 13 months and a silver ox, says, 13 months already? My wife and I love watching every Thursday night without fail. Could you give a shout out to my wife, Ashley? She would love it. Absolutely. Shout out to both Cleansed in Fire and Ashley for watching as long as you have been. I really appreciate it. Thanks for sticking with me. Nick Barnhouse, a member for 34 months and a gold ox, says, Howdy ox, haven't made a stream in a couple of weeks, but my schedule has changed. I'll be able to catch all streams now and love the new shop. And thanks for the new membership milestones close to my 36. That's awesome, Nick Barnhouse, and he's right. I uploaded new icons for those of you who have been subscribing for 36 and 48 months. So you'll get brand new icons in just a few months there, Nick. Baltimoreals became a bronze ox. Thank you, Baltimoreals. Uh, let's see. And then Baltimoreals gifted five... Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you, Baltimore Morals, and congratulations to Richard Smith, Theodore West, Nathan Pipkin, Johnny Marquez Ramirez, and Wyoming Homesteader for your brand new shiny Oxhorn memberships. That's awesome. Thank you. Padre says, where do snowmen put their money? Snowbanks. What do snowmen call their kids? Children. Did you hear about the lisping snowman? He came, he thaw, and he conquered. So would that be Wenny Witty Wiki? Instead of Vene Vidi Vici? What do Yeti on diets eat? Iceberg lettuce. Almost botched that iceberg lettuce padre this is great because i'm cold right and it's december thank you for all of those mm, wonderful grant on facebook says good evening ox what is it in front of the camera is there still something in front of the camera let me Jimmy. think I got it. Alt Grendel says, uh, fears, not fans. Fears, fears. Oh, I see. I see. Right. Because I wouldn't want to conquer my fans. I would want to conquer my fears. Thank you. I shall conquer my fears. My fears shall be conquered. Thank you, Alt Grendel. No Name says, we no longer have to deal with the annoying Rat King boy. Hooray. Right, because we ended the game. And naturally, when you end the game, the Rat King boy stops talking. So there is that. Jake Benz with a donation on YouTube. Thank you very much, Jake Benz. Uh, then he says also again, howdy, ox and all. Hey there, Jake. So good to see you again. Rachel says, I know you have made peace with non-lore friendly power armor skins. Thank you. I have made peace with that. But I had to share. No pictures yet, but inside the vault announced... Sheep Squatch Power Armor Skins? 
I mean, if it's a post-apocalyptic power armor skin, okay. Like, if somebody had a suit of T-51, went out and butchered a bunch of sheep squatch, and then, like, covered the armor in sheep squatch fur and horns, I'd be okay with that. It's okay for people to alter with low-tech, post-apocalyptic technology, pre-war, high-technology power armor. That's okay. That's That could be lore-friendly, right? I didn't mind the Giddy Up Buttercup power armor from the Creation Club. It made sense in the world that someone would take a Raider power armor frame and power armor pieces and put a bunch of Giddy Up Buttercups to it. That could totally happen. It's plausible. But for a completely highly engineered high-tech suit of power armor to have existed pre-war that we never heard about and it's themed after like superheroes from a dolphin show or something that doesn't work ghost boner gifted five oxhorn memberships thank you very much ghost boner and congratulations to angelica paul grant kt beaverhausen and duck in it or duck in it uh thank you very much ghost boner very generous all of you Julian Z says, uh, still no word on uh, of when Horizon Forbidden West goes to PC, but it is getting a DLC set in the L.A. Hollywood area. Hope you can play it soon. Um, cool. Well, I mean, I, would, I can't wait till it comes to PC. Baltimore says 93. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like leveling up. Every time I meet, I, I meet a new um, membership milestone, it sets another one for me that's slightly higher than the previous one that I had already met. So in the time between my last broadcast and now, many of the members that I had had uh, expired, which pushed me down into a previous milestone. But they don't number them, so I don't know which milestone I'm on. All I know is that it says I need X number of members to reach the next milestone. So when I saw that, I, I had to think, well, either I had been docked down or I had gained so many that... Um, I was about to get to the next one, and there was no way of knowing until I exceeded, uh, graduated to the next l tier. So it looks like I need 93 more. Well, actually, many of you have, j have have donated more memberships, so maybe like 80 more, something like that? I don't know. Fishkey says, that sounds really complicated. It is really complicated. I mean, they don't make this easy for us. Anywhere, on YouTube, Facebook. Facebook is way more complicated than YouTube, but YouTube is not easy by any stretch of the imagination. Julian Z, with a really cool gold derby with a silver cigar icon, says, still no word of... Oh, no, that's the one that I just read. Thank you, Julian Z. I appreciate it. Jake Ben says, here's to another scotch and smoke rings. Cheers, my friend. Baltimore says, why didn't the polar bear show up for his first date? He got cold feet. As he would. He's a polar bear. Presumably in a very polar climate. Random Fandom says, Could the curator be Thanatos? He's the Greek god of death. Your thoughts? I think that's entirely possible. Uh, the question would be, had he ever referenced anything that predated Greek mythology? If he did, then he couldn't be Thanatos exactly. Perhaps Thanatos is just some omniscient death creature, some death deity that is reinterpreted from society to society because he's known Romans and he's known the Bard, Shakespeare. So he's been around for a very long time. Mr. Virus says, what's your opinion on the Who band Fallen Order? Well, Mr. Virus, I'm going to demonstrate how uncultured I am by admitting that I have no idea who that is. I have no idea who the who is. I mean, I know who the who is, but this is spelled H-U. The who band. The hue? Who? It's not the who. I know the who. But this is the who. And I don't know the who. Greg gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you very much, Greg. And congratulations to Alexis, Jeremy, Mark, Pat, and Grim. Awesome. You guys are so generous to each other today. Jake Benz says, why couldn't the toilet paper cross the road? It got stuck in a crack. Uh, really? We're doing potty humor on Scotch and Smoke? Is that what we're doing tonight? Potty humor? Really? Nanim says, what do elves learn in school? The alphabet. Oh. oh, come on. That 
That's awful. It, it would have been better if it like, where do elves go to bet on horses? To gamble on racing horses. The alpha bet track, I guess. Elves learn in school the alphabet. Ah! One anarchist's opinion says, I got hurt in a peekaboo contest. They put me in the ICU. I see you. Thank you, thank you. Greg donated one more Oxhorn membership. Thank you so much, Greg. And congratulations to Scott, who managed to snag that. Rachel says, you take advantage of any Black Friday sales, such as on props? I mean, there were no new props that I wanted. Like, I have all of the props I wanted. Um, I, you know, I did a lot of shopping for Christmas, of course, so I took advantage of a few deals. But you know what? The Black Friday thing, it's all a scam. Anyway, maybe I'm just old and jaded and bitter, but, I mean, you don't really save much money by shopping on Black Friday. It's, it's, it's all a big scam. Jake Benz became a bronze ox. Thank you very much, Jake Benz. Matthew Bryan on Facebook says, check out that band, The Who. Again, spelled H-U. They actually are pretty good. Mongolian rock slash metal music. Wow. Mongolian rock and metal. Sounds like something I'd love. Thank you for that one, Matthew. Douglas Jin says, oh, so people don't click on something to get it. It gives out randomly. No, I think it only works on PC right now. But uh, basically, I don't think it works on mobile yet. But on P I could be wrong. Maybe it is only on mobile and not on PC. But basically, when somebody donates a membership, uh, a little screen will flash over the chat asking if you want to claim it for yourself. And if you're fast enough... You can get one. I think that's how it works. Jake Ben says, what do dinosaurs use to pay bills? Tyrannosaurus checks. I'm going to finish this early today. Goodness. Mm. Tyrannosaurus checks. Oh, that's great. Julian C says, Ox, I know people have recommended Star Wars Fallen Order and Telltale Walking Dead, and you're not a fan of Star Wars or cell shading. What do you think of trying them for a bit during the charity live stream? I mean, I've already got quite a list of games to do during the charity live stream. So I don't know, maybe, but I think I've got a pretty good list of what I'm going to play. Rachel says, uh, but what about the perfectly preserved pie? I mean, I still have yet to get the perfectly preserved pie. You know, aside from the one that is a guaranteed drop in uh, Nuka World because somebody actually repaired the machine. I, I don't, I've never gotten one just by luck, by my sheer luck. So, Oh, you meant in terms of props. I would love a perfectly preserved pie. And I don't have one yet. Maybe I'll get a perfectly preserved... Tell what, I'll, I'll ask Santa for it. Maybe I'll get one from Santa. Whatever tube in the chat today with the gold derby says, Ox, it's been so long. Play on, my good sir. I'm in late. Did anybody say anything about Enclave in Space or Hollow Earth? No. Shame. What's up with Fallout TV? Any news? You keeping them writers straight? Whatever tube, you know, Enclave in Space or Inside a Hollow Earth, that's that's your shtick, man. That's your thing. Without you, it just doesn't show up on the on the program, because I mean, literally no one else ever thinks about that or is concerned about it whatsoever except for you, whatever, too. But I'm glad you're here to keep us grounded, or in some case, deep grounded. Um, in terms of the Fallout TV show, I uh, haven't heard anything. Because I'm not involved in it, as I have said repeatedly on this program. They don't come to me for lore advice because, you know, they've got the people who actually made the game to talk to. And, I mean, I'd, I'd, if they came to me, I'd, I'd, I'd happily hop in. And talk all about how dolphin-themed power armor wouldn't work. But uh, <laughs> uh, I, I don't think that's the kind of lore advice that they're interested in. 
Toxic Sean says, hello, Oxhorn. Today is crazy. So, so busy with work. But it's Friday, so who cares? Ha ha. Looking forward to unwinding with Mr. Oxhorn. Hope you're well, bud. Thank you, Toxic Sean. I'm feeling great. Hope you're well as well. Grievous Reborn says, here's an unpopular opinion. Fallout New Vegas is a great game, but I think it is overrated. Also, any games revealed at Game Awards pique your interest? You know, I haven't been following the Game Awards today. After the broadcast, I, of course, will go check it out because I am curious. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give you my thoughts on those maybe next week during the charity live stream. Uh, in terms of Fallout New Vegas, uh, overrated? I don't know if it's overrated. More so than... Bethesda Fallout's being underrated. Um, there is a segment of the Fallout fan base that is very um, interplay or nothing. If, if it wasn't made by interplay or people who used to work at interplay, then it's not a real Fallout game and anything else isn't real Fallout. Uh, only they know how to make a Fallout game the way a real Fallout game should be, right? And um, so there are people like that and they tend to over talk about Fallout 1 Fallout 2 in particular, and Fallout New Vegas in particular. Conveniently, they complete, uh, completely forget about Tactics, published by Interplay, and Brotherhood of Steel, also published by Interplay. So those just don't count, I guess. Um, but um, they are right in that Fallout New Vegas is an amazing game. It's stunning, really. I mean, there you, can have, you, can, you have lots to complain about in terms of graphics and, you know, parts of the world that you can't access that you think you should be able to access and having to zone five different times when you're walking around downtown New Vegas just to explore and do some quests and buggy quests and weird, you know, voice acting moments and, you know, bad facial animations. Like, it has all of that, right? It's, it's like any other Bethesda game published on a Bethesda engine. It's got weird glitches and bugs. But for those of us who are concerned with world building and story and character development. Fallout New Vegas is, it's just amazing. It really, really is. The problem is that people are, there are some segments of the Fallout community who are perfectly happy admitting that, that New Vegas is amazing, but are unwilling to admit that Fallout 3 is equally amazing, maybe in different ways, but it, it's an amazing game. And that Fallout 4 is also amazing. Also in different ways, but, you know, also amazing. Uh, so that's, I think, where the disparity lies. I think New Vegas perfectly deserves all of the praise that it gets. And I think Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 deserve more praise that they don't get. No Name says, what do you call a sleeping dinosaur? A dino snore. <laughs> oh. Saving that one for the kids later. They'll love it. Jake Benz says, Facebook is still not allowing stars. It's a shame, a tragedy. You know what's also really annoying? I, I tried to find somebody to talk to about this on Facebook. I can't seem to send them an email or find a, a chat, pop-up, help, or anything. I, I don't know how to fix it. I'm working on it. I'm trying to fix it. Don't know how to do it. Jocelyn Ryan says, sending greetings and well wishes to you in the chat. Holidays are busy, but I'll check out the stream later. No worries, Jocelyn. I know where you're at. The holidays are busy for me, too. Night Paladin Eleanor says, you can get a perfectly preserved pie from Walmart for like $3. Uh, yeah, is Walmart the super duper mart of our universe? Thank you, Night Eleanor uh, Paladin. Alt Grendel says, what dinosaur is good with words? A thesaurus rex. What's with all the dinosaur jokes? It's, I guess dinosaurs are close to death claws. I guess. A thesaurus rex. Ugh. Johnny Turner, a member for three months into Silver Rock, says, just wanted to say hi. Hi there, Johnny Turner. Thank you so much. Toby Noble on Facebook says, New Vegas is awesome. I just wish I saw its full potential. I heard it was rushed, and we didn't see everything planned for it. I mean, yeah, that's true, but it's also true for literally every game. Every single game. I don't think there has ever been a game that was published the way the developers envisioned it, right? And the thing is that every game is under deadline. 
and every developer knows the deadline going into it. There isn't a... There are very few games where developers go into the production of a game with a certain deadline in hand, and that deadline gets shortened. That rarely happens. What's more likely is that they use up all the time slotted for the game, and they need more time. They either publish it at that time with some stuff missing, or they delay it, and delay it, and delay it, like Cyberpunk 2077. And in some cases, publish a game even after delaying it multiple times in an unplayable state, like Cyberpunk 2077, right? So, yes, there were many things that ended up being cut from the game, and that's really due to the unrealistic expectations of the developers going in to a schedule that they had agreed to beforehand, right? Now, Joshua Sawyer, the director of uh, Fallout New Vegas, tried to amend this a bit by coming out with his own mod for Fallout New Vegas, wherein which he made many of the changes and fixes uh, that he really wanted to see in the game before it was published, right? They had to meet their deadline, a deadline they agreed to before starting the game, uh, but he also wanted to make sure that the player base could enjoy the game one, the way that he envisioned it. And so I highly recommend you finding that mod and installing that mod before playing Fallout New Vegas. No Name says, Brotherhood, uh, Fallout Brotherhood of Steel is the greatest Fallout game ever made. I just feel like causing controversy. You know what, No Name? That is so controversial and ridiculous that I think people are just going to laugh. I doubt very much that you're going to start a flame war if you go on Reddit and say that. Because people are just going to laugh and go, yeah. You clearly have never played it. I mean, I clearly have never played it. And I want to play it just so that I can say that I have. But I've never played it. I have seen videos of other people playing it, though, and... Oh, boy. I need to play it one of these days. Jake Benz says, YouTube's just as good, my friend. No worries. Thank you, Jake Benz. Glad many of you are able to move on over to YouTube to donate if you uh, like to. But I'm really hoping I'm going to be able to get my stars fixed on Facebook. Murden Philippe, a member for four months and a silver ox, says, A Yeti looked in the mirror and thought himself flabby, so he hit the gym. Now, he's an abominable snowman. I'll see myself out. I'm sorry. I completely messed that up. Let me say that again, and you'll get it. A Yeti looked in the mirror and thought himself flabby, so he hit the gym. Now he's an abdominal snowman thank you Murden. oh man i butchered that the first time it's a great one tilly a member for 34 months and a gold ox says i got my first two perfectly preserved pies while doing the pit and that was the most exciting part of the whole thing uh, well um it would have been for me too had i been able to get some perfectly preserved pies you know i i I did all of the pit live on the program. I wanted to explore the, the game's first expedition. And I walked away nonplussed, you know? Especially after having played the pit uh, for Fallout 3. There was just so much great stuff they could have done. I just kind of feel like... You know what? I think there are, there are people who play multiplayer games exclusively for the gameplay and people who play multiplayer games exclusively for the story, and people who want a good balance of the two, right? And if you can hit that good balance of the two, you're going to please most players. You're going to greatly please those who love gameplay elements and replayability and grind, and you're going you're gonna, to uh, please those who are really into the story. Um, the problem with the pit is that the story felt so shallow. It felt like a rough skeleton used as an architecture solely to give us repeatable, grindable gameplay. And you know how I feel about repeatable, grindable gameplay. I don't want to spend my time doing that. I'm not saying that that kind of gameplay is bad. People like that kind of gameplay. People play multiplayer games to have that kind of gameplay, and I don't want to rob them of that. For me, I'm not going to spend my time doing that. There are so many other things I would much rather spend my time doing. So for me, The Pit was a bit of a disappointment, mainly because... The story felt so minimal, but that's just me. Julian Z says, Ox, watching you in the Game Awards at the same time, they just dropped the Cyberpunk DLC, Phantom Liberty trailer. Still no release date yet, just 2023. I mean, they probably learned from, <laughs> well, they learned. 
Yeah, uh, well, th that's great. I mean, I really hope that the DLC is amazing. Adam M says, I used to buy ads on Facebook, but they gave me a person that would do weekly calls with me. It's surprising you don't get a contact like that. Well, I mean, if you used to buy ads on Facebook, presumably for another company or your own company, I think you're much more likely to get somebody on Facebook who wants to call you because you're spending money. You're actually allocating a company's budget to spend on ads on Facebook, and that's where they make their money. So naturally, they're going to give you a lot of attention. Um, my, uh, I guess my broadcast, may maybe there are people who broadcast on Facebook who make so much money from donations and ads that they get their own Facebook rep, much in the same way that I get a YouTube rep. But uh, if there are, I haven't gotten to that point yet. Maybe someday. Jake Benton says, was Fallout 4 good? Yes, but I believe they could have done more, and it's good to hear that Todd's giving it more DLC next year. That's news to me. I haven't heard about new DLC for Fallout 4 next year, really? Is that more DLC, or is it Creation Club? Because I know they paused Creation Club for a while. Are they restarting the Creation Club, or is it literal new DLC for Fallout 4. This is the first I've heard of it, so I can't confirm that that's true. If it is true, it would be amazing. And of course, they could have done more. They can always do more. There's never a situation where you publish a game and think, wow, that's literally all they ever could have done for the game. Now, you could always do more for a game. There could have been way more content for Fallout 4. We got two storyline-based um, DLCs, Far Harbor and Nuka World. Um, the uh, atomic or the 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 mechanist one uh, was a good one, but the story was really short. And the rest of the DLCs were all camp related or or settlement related. And it was a bit disappointing at the time that all of these promised DLCs ended up just being more settlement stuff. I remember that was a huge controversy at the time. I mean, they did give us a little bit of story with Vault eighty eight, but it was again really minimal, and it just served as a vehicle that they used to deliver a vault tile set for the settlement build menu. So, yeah, of course, they could have done more in terms of DLCs. But they shipped a finished game. Like, the one thing you can say about Fallout 4 is it was a finished game when it shipped, and it didn't come with microtransactions when it shipped. So, I still I still really love Fallout 4. Von Reck gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you so much, Von Reck. And uh, congratulations to Keish, Manny White, Phil, uh, and Tiffany Salling. Is that it? Is that it? Or was there one more? Keish, Manny White, Phil, Tiffany Salling. That's only four, but I thought it said five. So it looks like there's one more that uh, could be claimed. If I'm reading this correctly. But thank you very much for that Von Rack. Let's see what that does to our numbers over here. And... Nope, I gotta refresh the page. Adam M says, unhappy with the pit? No stew for you. I know. I mean, the pit was fine for what it was intended to be. It wasn't intended to be a new storyline, and that's why I'm disappointed. I had hoped it would have been intended to be a new story-driven DLC like uh, Steel Rain and Steel Dawn, and it wasn't that. But it wasn't intended to be, so... We're at 75. That's a lot. We, we went from 93 to 75. I mean, it would be cool if we got that this broadcast. I've got the emojis ready for when we do. Antique Goth became a silver ox. Thank you very much, Antique Goth. Jake Benz says, it's a brand new DLC and Creation Club content, actually. So... 
It is Creation Club content. Okay. Wait, is it DLC being delivered via the Creation Club? Hmm. That'll be interesting. Because I remember that if you bought the, um, the Deluxe Edition or the Game of the Year Edition or whatever, it included all DLCs? Did that mean past, present, and future? So would people who bought that version of the game five years ago get this DLC for free? Or would it not count because it's being published through the Creation Club as a mini DLC? I don't know. Interesting. It'll be, it'll be fun to see how that plays out legally. Quintayus, a member for 43 months in the Gold Ox, says, Hey Ox and chat, thanks for the many years of great entertainment of Fallout lore videos and chats and rants, especially the rants. <laughs> Hope you in the chat have a great Christmas holiday. Thank you very much, Quintayus. Many more lore videos and rants to come. Jake Ben says, least I've heard it's both. Okay, well, that's great news. I mean, any new content for Fallout 4 is a good thing. A very, very good thing. Julian Zia says, also, Ox, apparently a Death Stranding 2 is coming. Well, uh, cool. I probably should play the first, but I haven't. Maybe one of these days. Rachel says, did you know when you post an upcoming stream on YouTube, it plays your old videos during the wait time? Today, we watched your Christmas sweater mod video. And a few weeks ago, it was Brahman Farts. Thank you, Rachel. I do know that. When I'm creating uh, or scheduling a live stream in the future, I have an opportunity to choose a trailer, quote unquote, uh, for people to watch while they're waiting in the lobby, waiting for the show to start. And um, only a few of my videos are short enough to fit the trailer the criteria. And it happens to be some of my old mod videos back when I had to crank out new content every single day. And uh, I was away on vacation, so I cranked out some two to three minute long videos that I could schedule to publish while I was on Christmas vacation. So, yeah, I've been putting those in there. Night Paladin Eleanor gifted 10 Oxhorn memberships to the community. Awesome, Night Paladin Eleanor. Thank you. And congratulations to C. French, Justin, Ty Mao, Nicole Cott, Solar Wind, and Lady LaFay, and Psycow, and James Trucker, and B.A. Simply Eve. Wow, that's amazing, Night Paladin. Thank you so much for your generosity, and congratulations to everyone who got a brand new shiny Oxhorn membership. Pleased to meet you, says, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood. A neighbor day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Wow, Mr. Rogers' legacy is intact. Thanks, too. Pleased to meet you. Thank you very much. Pleased to meet you. Jake Ben says, we'll do more research and get back to you. Thank you, Jake. I'm eager to hear the answer to that question. Hat on the Cat says, will we be getting the next Fallout 4 lore video this weekend? No, but I am making progress. I know that many of you are eagerly anticipating uh, anticipating the next episode in my full series on the full story of Fallout 4. And I, trust me, I am working on it every single day. And I've got, you know, 15 hours of captured footage in my video editor that I need to go through to start cranking out an episode. But before I do that, I want to finish capturing all of the footage for one faction. That way I can make an intro video for it. And that way that I've got no surprises as I'm going through the story, right? Like, I'd hate to go through episode after episode only to learn something that I could could have covered in a future episode, but I can't go back in time. So I want to capture all the footage for one faction, produce that series, then capture all of the footage for the next faction, produce that series until I've got all four of them done. That's the goal. Zach for you became a bronze ox. Thank you very much, Zach for you. Jake Ben says, I stand totally corrected. It is just Creation Club. Okay. Well, thank you, Jake. I'm glad you were able to confirm that for me. Um, I appreciate that. And uh, that makes a bit more sense that it would just be Creation Club content. But on a positive note, I'm really glad the Creation Club is coming back. I know that there were many people on YouTube in particular who you know came out swinging when the Creation Club was announced and they hated the Creation Club and they thought it was just basically paid maws and yada, yada, yada. And while there are definitely criticisms with the Creation Club, I've published a video myself talking about how I thought Creation Club content was overpriced. 
I missed it. I have missed it the past couple of years, and I thought that many of the creations that were published through the Creation Club were really high quality, and uh, I can't wait to see even more. Rachel says, Have you found any missed lore during production that could lead to more non-main story lore videos post-production? Yes! The short answer is yes. I have been keeping notes while I've been going through this series, and anytime I stumble upon something where I haven't done a video on that, I make myself a note, and I'll probably be going back after the series completes and touching upon those places. Because I want to cover everything. Axon Media Seattle became a Silver Ox. Thank you, Axon Media Seattle. Jessica on Facebook says, I was wanting to do an easy achievement on Fallout 76. One of the easy ones I know to do is kill another player, but I can't. It won't let me at all. Is there something wrong with the game? I mean, it depends on what you're trying to do. Uh, I mean, there is a pacifist mode. And if other people have pacifist mode enabled, you can't kill them. And if you have pacifist mode enabled, then you can't do any damage to other people. So it really only works if you're attacking people who are basically flagged for PvP. At least that's how it worked back when I played, and it's been a very long time since I've actually played. So, that's that's about as much as I know. Jake Ben says, also finally getting my hands on Bendy and the Dark Revival this weekend. Can't wait. Congratulations, Jake. Bendy and the Dark Revival. Sounds interesting. Maybe I'll check it out. Kenuck82 says, uh, Choo Choo Charles comes out tomorrow. Seems like a one to two stream game. Would love to see you play it in the new year after Callisto Protocol. That has been on my short list as well. Adding it to the list. Greg says, have you ever uh, had to refer to the Fallout Wiki information when creating your Fallout vids? Or do you do everything based on your own experiences? Um, it's a it's a multifaceted operation. I do everything based on my own experiences. And when I have a question, or if I think there should be something here, or that I'm missing something, I'll go research the topic. Sometimes that leads me to a Fallout Wiki. Sometimes that leads me to a Reddit thread. I mean, there are lots of places online where people congregate to share information about their favorite games and I try to hit all of them when doing a lore video after capturing footage on my own and playing through it on my own and expressing my own thoughts just to make sure I tackle every topic. 25 year old grandpa incel hmm, says would Cigar be a part of your loadout in real life Fallout? Yes. Yes it would. Thank you 25 year old grandpa incel. Johnny Turner says, any chance we, sh we could get another settlement build video? I mean, maybe, but uh, it's been a while since I've done settlements, you know? Part of me always wanted to go back and revisit my settlements and make them without any mods. Because when I did my sett settlement videos, I did them with lots of mods. The problem is that if I did a bunch of settlement build videos without using mods, just using the in-game um, limitations, then each settlement would be small and kind of boring, and they'd start to get repetitive. And I don't know if anyone really wants to see that, so I'm not really motivated to go back and redo my settlement build videos. Sean Fernango says, just bought an Oxworn Wonderland sticker. Yay! Thank you, Sean Fernango. He's talking about my, uh, my Christmas design on my shop. I have some Christmas stickers available. Urora Brer says, is high on life on your radar? Uh, no. Let's add it to the list. Thank you very much, Urora Brer. Sarah says, Oxhorn, The Last of Us is for sure coming to PC in March. Please, 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 us peasants beg of you. I've enjoyed every single PlayStation exclusive that has come to PC. I really have. So I'm probably going to tackle that one.
Rachel says, merch suggestion, Oxhorn Christmas ornaments. Now, that would be clever. Have a little glass or ceramic bulb in the shape of my head or derby. That'd be great. I wish I could do that. No Name says there's always a chat favorite game, Tentacles of Love. This is a charity live stream for children. Children. I'm not playing Tentacles for Love while doing a live stream for children. All right? And I think the reason is obvious. But wonderful suggestion nonetheless. Thank you, No Name. Tentacles of Love. Oh my God, Has have I really been live for that long? Wow, okay, well we got about four minutes and then we're gonna start the game. Kimo Sha uh, Sabi says, wasn't it called Sucker for Love? Tentacles, suckers, I mean, people have crazy imaginations, but not for a charity live stream. I mean, maybe if I was streaming live to OnlyFans. Do they do that? Can you stream to, to OnlyFans? Maybe I should have an Oxhorn OnlyFans where I stream tentacles for love. Tentacles of love. Or suckers for love. Oh, God. I wouldn't be able to look at myself in the mirror if I did that. Sarah says, do you have normal ornaments, Ox? Or do you have a hidden fallout tree? I have normal ornaments. I don't have like a, a, <laughs> a hidden fallout themed Christmas tree in my house that only I go to. The kids go to bed at night and when I turn off all the lights, I sneak into the basement and open the closet to bow before the Christmas fallout totem I have erected for myself. No, I don't have a secret Christmas tree. <coughs> Uh, Mike Bruner, a member for three months, says, I mentioned it before, sorry if I'm getting annoying, but The Forgotten City is a diamond in the rough. Great game, in my opinion. Would it be good for a charity live stream? I'll go ahead and write it down. Random Fandom says, Sisty Pig emojis when? I mean, ew, I don't want to see that when I'm broadcasting. I mean, you guys would spam it over and over again just to make me grossed out. I'm not doing a sisty pig emoji. Not going to happen. Miss Silver Fox 666 gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you, Miss Silver Fox. And congratulations to Dirty Bird Person, Cairo Contoy, Slammin' Smitty, JJ86, and J Mills 666. Lots of triple sixes in the chat today. Thank you very much, Miss Silver Fox, and congratulations to everyone who snagged a free Oxhorn membership today. David Harder says, Evening Ox, glad I had a chance to catch another stream. Work's been busy. I've been trying to stay on top of my cross stitch after the last one. Awesome, David. Well, I'm so glad you found a hobby that you're passionate about. Be sure to fill me in and share the details with me as much as possible. And I'm glad you made it to the broadcast today. Axon Media Seattle says, how about a yay balls emoji? Guys, I can't have a balls emoji. Like, a anything that I upload has to be at least PG-13, right? It's good. It's, I can't, YouTube's not going to let me upload balls do I have to explain this? No balls on YouTube. Though it would be funny. Freddie Simmons says, Is it true that you'll be interviewing the man himself, Keith? And I've been avoiding saying his last name because I needed to force myself to remember how to pronounce it. And I'm so sorry. So sorry. Scaraboya? Oh my God. I'm so sorry. I need to look this up before I interview him. 
Um, Harbring, Harbinger, Joshua Graham, John Caleb, Brad Burton. Someone is definitely going to ask him to say, assuming direct control, and that is true. Uh, Scaraboa. Is it Scaraboa? God, I'm so, I'm so bad. Um, yes, it's true. On Friday next week, I will be interviewing Keith Scar Scaraboa. The voice of Joshua Graham himself, and I will have his name down pat before I interview him. I promise. I am not going to humiliate myself while interviewing the man himself. I will learn how to pronounce it before I, I talk to him. But yeah, Friday next week, interviewing the voice of Joshua Graham. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, when I said YouTube doesn't allow balls, I didn't mean like sports balls. Obviously, basketballs, baseballs. Yeah, you're, you can stop spamming balls in the chat. L listen, that could have been taken out of context. But you still, either way, I don't need to see balls in chat. We all know what balls look like. Thank you. Freddie Simmons says, Shara Baika. Shara, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm going to make a note. Shara Baika. Oh, my God. I'm, I am awful. Shara Baika. Keith Shara Baika. Are you sure? Shara Baika? Keith Shara Baika. I'm interviewing him on Friday. It's going to be so much fun. Be sure to tune in. It's going to be great. I'll tweet out more information as we get closer to the date. Padre says, why did the girl keep her trumpet out in the snow? She liked playing cool jazz. How do mountains stay warm? They put on their snow caps. What do you call it when a snowman throws a temper tantrum? A meltdown. Cheers, folks, he says. Thank you, Padre. Cheers to you. Tony says, but it was sports balls you were talking about when the meme started. Well, yeah. And that's what I'm still talking about. What are you talking about? Of course I'm talking about sports balls. I don't like sports. I don't like anything having to do with balls. Everybody thinks they're a jock. It's just balls, balls, balls. I'm so tired of it. Why can't there be a sport without balls? What were you talking about? I don't want to know. Go play Tentacles of Love. No Name says, I will now clip Oxhorn. Keep spamming balls in chat. I didn't say that. Did I say that? I didn't say that. Sarah says, ovaries with a power fist. Okay. This is like, listen, the chat, the chat is getting off track here. Can we just calm down a little bit? We're about to play a horror game and a bunch of poor kids are going to get slaughtered mercilessly by some sort of Hannibal Lecter wannabe in a, in a mansion. That's why we're all here. Not to talk about balls. God. Hockey, says Sarah. Thank you. I love hockey. I've never played it. Is it good? I think I'd love it. 25-year-old grandpa incel says, ox beard slash booze, ASMR, worst things on YouTube. <laughs> is that what this is? Is this beard and booze ASMR? <laughs> oh, God. I suppose there are worse things on YouTube, huh? <laughs> oh, I am never marketing this program as Beard and Booze ASMR. We can never repeat that. Thank you, 25-year-old incel grandpa. Fishkey says, great seeing you tonight, Ox. I'm really excited to see more Viscera cleanup detail next week. What do you think is going to happen in the game tonight? Well, we're going to try to keep people from dying. Will we succeed? I don't know. Cody Luden says, hockey is a sport without balls. Yeah, okay, there's a... There's I like this. A sport without balls. It's my new favorite thing ever. Hockey. Justin says, you're testing me. Right. All right. I got to turn off the lights. Testy, testy. No name says, can't wait to see the food truck simulator. Did I, did I promise to do food truck simulator? Sounds interesting. Is it on my list? <laughs> it should be. Food truck simulator. If you guys have any questions you think I should ask Keith on Friday, let me know. I'm really excited. I've got my own list, but if, you, if you've got anything you want me to ask, 
Now's the chance. Well, you have, you have time next week as well. During my charity live streams to give me ideas. Mike Bruner says, are you still snowed in up there in the Northwest? Yeah, uh, it's melting though. Like the roads are pretty much safe to drive. My own property is melting, so it's getting better. Jocelyn Ryan says, badminton, uh, badminton has the shuttlecock. Oh, that's even worse. Can I just say no to balls and shuttlecock? I'll take a puck any day. Really? Who came up? Who names these things? A shuttlecock. God. All right, hold on. I gotta, gotta get the game up here. What, what am I playing today? All right, the dark pictures. Alt Grendel says, Time Ox, thank you. Alt Grendel, keeping me honest here. All right, hold on. Are we ready? I think we're ready to get spooky. Rachel says, which character that you have voiced do you believe was the most evil, the most moral, that I have voiced? Um, I mean, Associate Professor Evil was pretty evil, but he was also pretty moral. Like, he had standards and ethics. Monomy. Yeah. He was a lot of fun. Padre says, don't forget about the Yak t uh, tracks from REI. Thank you, Padre. Joe Mater says, Cornhole is a no ball sport. God. Playing ball games with shuttlecocks and cornholes. What what does this chat come to? It's a freaking cornhole. Right. I just want to do a Beavis and Butthead, uh, butthead quote now, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Adam M. Gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you so much, Adam M. And congratulations to Anthony, David Norell, uh, Meat Potato, Ariad Ariadne, and Angry Kitty. Thank you very much. Rachel says, question for interview. That's it? That's your question? It's just a question for interview? Let me know on Twitter. Julian Z says, Well, Ox, the Game Awards is over, and I'm a little sad that no Bethesda game at all. No new or old trailers for any current or upcoming games. Really? The, the Game Awards came and left, and they didn't give us any updates for um, Starfield? Really? Oh, that's a bummer. Well... We don't want to rush it, right? We don't want to rush it. Okay. Let me double check my membership count, see if I can upload an emoji, and then we'll go. Hang tight. Okay, refresh the page real quick. Just a quick refresh. There we go. Now, check out my current. Fifty-three more to go, guys. We're, I can't believe we're getting as close as we are, but man, we've made some major progress. Thank you all for all of the memberships you donated to the community. Awesome. Zach for you says Ox Horny. I mean, my community apparently. What about cornholes and ridiculous.
Ok Now to pick off where, or to pick up where we left off. Not to pick off where we left off, that would be weird. <laughs> Rachel says, no, the evil character voicing is for the interview. Oh, sorry, Rachel. You had, I, I made you clarify twice. I okay. That makes sense. It's the only way out of here. So, we're going to find out. All right. Imagine the amount of power a place like this has to consume. No Name says, you know you love us. Yeah, you know I do. Julian Z says, also, Ox, sorry if this has been asked. What days exactly will you Is be charity live streaming next week? Just option. Fridays or others as well. I'm streaming Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday for charity. Um, I haven't tweeted it out uh, officially yet, but my schedule is on Tiltify. You can find my Oxhorn profile on Tiltify. But uh, I'll try to find that information and let you guys know over the weekend what my exact schedule will be. All right? Right, let's save these people. Or get them killed. Both good options. Where the hell are we? Ooh, this doesn't look good. It's like a a trash area. Oh, are we gonna find bodies and stuff down here? Gotta keep an eye open for uh, little coins. That apparently is an important currency. That's another thing. We don't really know what we can spend these coins, uh, coins on yet. Can we spend them on a better ending? <laughs> if we end up getting everybody killed, that'll be nice. Oh, it's a bathroom and locker room. Oh, great. Keep looking around. Shimmy. David Harder says, just tagged you with the current X Stitch prog. Uh, is that on Twitter, you mean? What's a, what's an X Stitch prog? There must be something useful around here. Why does it sound like they're all talking on a radio or a walkie-talkie? Did I check all the stalls? I think I did, yeah. All right, nothing in here. Let's move into the next stall. Next room. Right, couple of options. I hear rats. Hmm. 
Dung Ho Choi says, test, it's working, Dung Ho. I can see you just fine. Thank you. Ooh. Columbus Spark. Columbus Spark. Son of a bitch. He's watching us. We treat each and every one of our guests like a real work of art. That's not comforting. I don't want a serial killer treating me like a work of art. Thank you very much. Okay, we could go down. Is this our only option? Keisha says, hey Ox, TSW is turning 21 next week. Any recommendations for his first legal drink? Keisha, it's good to see you. <clears throat> Boy, that's a tough question. Um, well, does he like something sweet? Okay, if you want something sweet and strong, can't go wrong with a Long Island iced tea. Now, it's- No point just standing around. A Long Island iced tea is really strong. So maybe take sips and drink it slowly over the span of a while if you don't want to get plastered, especially if it's your first drink. A Tom Collins is also really nice. Uh, if you want to try a beer, um, I really like the darker beers, but those tend to be a little bit more potent. Irish Death is one of my favorite beers. You could always just go for a rum and coke. Nice and easy. Oh, is that a body? What's with the ambient sound effects? It sounds like nails on a chalkboard. Oh, it's a microphone. Jesse Clark, site foreman. We read about this guy. This was one of the workers that helped turn this place into a murder hotel. And remember, we read that some of the workers towards the end of the project started to disappear. Jesse Clark. Soales became a bronze ox. Thank you, Soales. But this is just a mannequin. This is not an actual body. But of course, if there's a mannequin of you in this hotel, it means you're already dead. Can I not get in there? This way? Padre says, not that I don't trust you, Ox, but make a note for yourself on make a note for yourself on stopping by REI or ordering a set off Amazon. We don't need you slipping and breaking your arms. It'll get in the way of the live streams. Thank you, Padre. Listen. Oh, okay. Naked mannequin in the stall. Uh, listen, uh, Padre, you're extremely kind. I appreciate the fact that you're thinking about my health and safety. Around. I wonder why you're so worried about me slipping. I don't spend a great deal of time on ice. I occasionally stand on ice. It's very rare. And uh, you know, the icy weather has started to abate here in the Pacific Northwest to the point where when I finally get a chance to go get myself some yak tracks, the ice may be gone. So <laughs> tell you what, I'm, I'm making a mental note of it. I'm not making any promises, but I'm making a mental note 
to check out Yak Tracks the next time I am at REI. But I promise you that if and when I ever stand on ice, I will be extraordinarily careful. Not just for my sake and the sake of my children, but of course, for your sake, Padre. I'd hate for you to be missing out on my live streams. Okay, there's a room down there. That's probably where we need to go. I want to shimmy. Let's shimmy. Lamont says he should get a tequila sunrise or an amaretto sour. Um, I have had an amaretto sour. It was a long time ago, and I recall it being okay. I've never had a tequila sunrise. But yeah, if you guys have any recommendations for his first drink, let, uh, tell him in the chat. Okay, upstairs and downstairs. Looks, oh, dude, get out of my way. Please get out of my way. Please just move. There must be something useful around here. And I wish they would stop repeating themselves. Okay. The music is getting more dangerous as I go up. Okay. I don't want to miss this. I'm going to go back down and explore the room we just passed. No Name says the audio seems like it never transitioned from them being watched on the monitor. Yeah, it does sound a little like it's coming from a speaker. Okay, I don't want to miss whatever is in this room. And I think to proceed, we have to go upstairs. So. Ah! What was that? Hello. To all staff from Dr. Pulley, date the 19th of April, 1934 regarding the boiler room ceiling collapse. Dear all, please note that due to ingress of water from the laundry room, the ceiling through, uh, through to the boiler room has collapsed, causing significant damage to plant machinery and water supply. This used to be a plant before it was bought and turned into a murder hotel? In the circumstances, we have taken the difficult decision to close the spa with immediate effect until a repair can be made, which may be some months. All guests are being notified and asked to vacate their rooms by this evening. Yours, Dr. Harold, Pul Harold Pulley. Memorandum, Columbus Spa, structural repairs, 350,000. Boiler repair, 150,000. Decorate, 80,000. We can't afford this. Oh. I'm so annoyed that these characters are repeating the exact same thing. No point in just standing around while we are literally walking around and not standing. Okay, well I was right, this is a dead end, so let's go upstairs. <laughs> She's just staring at the wall. <laughs> she just won't move. Oh my God, the characters in this game. Shimmy.
something useful around here. No point in just standing around. Locked. Oh, cameras are so awkward in these games. What's behind the divider? Okay, that's our exit. What's that shimmering red on the floor there? Is that blood? Is that blood? That's blood. Ugh. Worth a try. I'll see if I can get this open. You guys keep looking for another way out. Okay, he wants us to gather in the lobby by reception. Maybe I don't want to do what he wants us to do. That's the lobby. Can't go that way. Let's go this way. Mark, give me a hand. I think we can bust through this thing. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What happened? We'll get back to you. Stay there. Just hurry. Oh, that hurt. What? This this wasn't in the script. I. Okay. We are separated again, and we're in the sauna, and it's a bit loud. Now I turned it down a bit. Greg says, uh, when I turned 21, my very first drinking experience was me and my buddy drinking an entire bottle of Pinnacle Peach Vodka. Oh, dear God. You poor things. We kept mixing it with different sodas thinking, oh, this isn't that bad. Until it was that bad. <laughs> Greg, that was your first experience. Oh, you poor guy. Oh, man. Vodka. <laughs> Not my fave. Okay. We're in a rotting sauna. And we are separated. Because of course we are. Oh, what's that? That's got to be another mannequin. We could climb over there. We could walk down there. Sparkly. Another business card. Grantham Demet, builder. Builder? Was he one of the builders? So he doesn't own this place. He never did. He was a builder hired to work on this place. Okay, I, th I saw a sparkly through this door. Nope, that's just the reflection of my flashlight. All right, anything in these corners? No. 
No pictures on the walls. Okay. That's the sauna we came from. Looks like we're going over. <laughs> and we're going right where he wants us to. Hydrotherapy. Oh, got some bodies. More of those speakers. Another general contractor's. Jesse, I quit with immediate effect. By the time you read this, I will have already left the island. Don't come looking for me. I quit. I'm done. Monica. Hastily written by hand. Of course he records his murders. Laura Murphy, senior electrician. More of the crew that helped build this place. But of course he has to kill them. He doesn't want anyone left alive who knows the secrets of his murder hotel. And the people who built it would definitely remember. Okay. Now, two bodies. <laughs> well, bodies in quotes. Found. Okay, where'd the other guy go? Where did he wander off to? Okay. Oh, God, these mannequins. What is over there? Oh, we're on the other side of the door. Okay. That was a crow. <laughs> This mannequin at the end of the hall is really spooky. I have been not looking forward to this. Don't move. Just don't move, please. Oh, what is under that sheet? <laughs> Come on. Oh. Uh. Uh, okay. Right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I saw a sparkly. There it is. Hey, we got a coin. It's a bird. How many is the bird worth? Ten. Nice. Where are the smoke rings at, says Mike and Nana. Mike, Nana. Calm down. I am a man of my word. It's not called scotch and smoke rings frivolously. There's your smoke rings. Here's the scotch. Frank Haldeman, project engineer. 
10, Frank Haldeman. Do we need to be keeping note of these numbers? of a girl called Natalie. Her body had been frozen. Hastily written resignation letter. We just saw that. Photos of bodies. Amendment to a will. Receipt for a hat. Tape from an FBI interview. Right, he's looking at that. We'll look over here first. Ooh, what are we stepping on? Glass or trash? Oh, hey, bud. Okay, here we go. Damn, she's strong. Stay close. Obviously. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was what just happened. <laughs> That's great. I love Oh, that was wonderful. I just like that so much. That was great. Okay. Uh, all right. Daniel Harder says, I may be mistaken, but the number before was 178, then 180 after Dumet and the little girl left. I don't think a killer would let them escape. Oh, you think the, ki you think the numbers are countdowns of people killed? I thought they were room numbers. So you think it's Dumet and the daughter? Oh, that would be awful. The poor kid. Oh, sure. Let's go around the corner. That's a dark hallway. No point just standing around. Well, you be quiet. We have literally... Oh, take one moment to breathe. No point standing around. Oh, I'm so tired of standing around. No Name says she ate her Wheaties this morning. Yeah, there's um, some uh, upper body strength right there. No point in standing around. Hope you're not standing around. Well, great. Oh, great. Fine. There must be a way out. Gotta be a way through. Will you just? Oh, I don't need your constant commentary. Why do developers do this? <laughs> it's like they expect us to solve every puzzle in 30 seconds, and when we don't, they have the NPCs constantly pestering us. Move faster. You could do this. We can. We can figure it out. There's gotta be a way. Hey, coin. That's the dog or bear or something. I think that was worth one. Yep, 31. There's got to be a way. No point in standing around. We've got to find a way. There must be something useful around here. <laughs> oh! Oh, 
Okay. Just never mind. Keep going. All right. So up there, maybe. Uh, I gotta scale that wall. Ah, I see. Oh, we got a shimmy. Is that what this is? We're gonna shimmy across the bar? Nope, we jump. Here we go. Keep looking around. I literally did nothing there. I just walked forward. <laughs> Random fandom says no point in standing around. There's got to be a way out of here. Let's keep looking. We've got to find something. Okay. Down. Jump down. Here we go. And back up? No, over here. No point just standing around. Oh, shut up. Oh, I just want to slap her. No, I don't. That would be violent, and I don't approve of violence. But maybe we can use in-game mechanics to kill her. How'd you get over there? Are you not following me, guy? Come on. There's no point in standing around. Shimmy. Shimmy. Oh, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. That's a shimmy. Got it. Right. There must be a way out. Mark, give me a hand moving this shit. Do it. I guess we did it. Yay. All right. It's a good thing they're not just standing around. More creepy hotel. Creepy, creepy. Ultra ruined. What's around this corner? Huh. Oh, great. Massage room. What horrors will be in there? Oh, look at that. It's a body hanging from the rafters. Shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. There we go. Massage room. Something devilish is going to be there. <clears throat> or not. Pretty normal. Well, for a ruined room. <laughs> oh. Okay, I gotta remember the deaths that I've seen. Let's do a quick reminder. That's a speedboat. Lady in a chair. Some sort of island with something in a dark hole. This is 
It's one we've already done. There's the meat hook one. All right. Uh, and I think we avoided that one too. Okay, nine seconds on that. What is it, like a buzzsaw thing? I mean, I don't want to push the red button. Are they gonna make me push the big shiny red button? Maybe I don't want to play his little game. Maybe I want to skip pushing the red button. I'm the curious. Fuck? What is this? Is it some sort of message? He's trying to scare us. Tell us something. Nine seconds. They're connected by a chain around the neck. If one of them pulls too hard, they stab the other one on the spikes sticking out of the pillar. I don't want to press it. I'm not going to play this guy's game. Random fandom says, maybe there's a way out. <laughs> maybe there is. I'm going to open this door. Oh, no. Locked. Okay, I guess I gotta push the button. That's some intense violin music. Who will win? Mannequin A or Mannequin B? Yeah. So the man pulled harder than the woman and uh, killed her. Spa master. Ryan Hart, senior demolition laborer. Eight, Ryan Hart. So what were the other numbers? We had a 10, we had an eight. I can't go back and check. Who was this? If that was Ryan Hart, who is that? He didn't leave a card with her. So we don't know who she is. Wow, that's devilish. It's restricting my camera. So I can't peer around the corners. There we go. Now I can actually twist and turn. Oh, oh dude. Oh, man. It's these deterior... Oh, there's... What's her name? She's walking so stiffly, so woodenly. Let's see what's over here before we meet up with her. Ah. Coin. Ooh, that's a skull. That's five. 
Yeah. How did she get up there? Both of those staircases are blocked. Oh wait, no, that's reception. We were there, but she couldn't get to the other side. Okay, so we can go through here to open the door to let her join us again. Or we're gonna witness something awful happen to her. Yeah, there's something in the way. See the picture? No? Alright, looks like this is it. Alright, we're gonna exit. Mark, here. Let's move the desk. <laughs> Mark? Jamie? Here. Kate. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, thank God. We found a key. Let's get out of here. I mean, these are kind of predictable. Are those supposed to be scary? Hear that? He's just lurking around behind him. This way. Oh no, does that mean he really did die? Oh no. from me. <sighs> All right, go into that room. Oh, come on. Out, out. <sighs> Stupid. Why did she run on ahead? Why didn't she stick with the group? Kind of what we saw in the puzzle. One person pulls, the other person blocked. dies. Shit. What was that? Oh no, he's pumping the oxygen out of the rooms. We can only save one. I, I can't, oh, I can't breathe. These windows are welded in place. He fucking wants us to watch. Wait, look. Regulator switch. Will that give them air? No. Not both of them. <gasps> it's sucking out all the air. <sighs> Whoever we point this lever at is gonna die. What? Do something! He wants us to choose, doesn't he? Oh my god. I can't. If 
If we don't do something, both of them will die, Mark. Jamie! Please! I don't want to die! I don't want to die! Please help me! Oh, come on, give me a chance to think before... We have to choose. Now! I don't- I think it's a trap. I'm not gonna kill either. I... I... can't... I'm sorry, Erin. I... I'm so sorry. Oh my god! What? Oh what? That's right, she had asthma. She's 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 gone. She's she's fucking gone. Oh my god. Oh my god. I I didn't know what to do. It's okay. You don't have to say anything. None of this is on us. This is all Dumet. He set us up. We need a plan. Forget his games, traps, all that bullshit. Think of all the killers we've covered. There's always a weakness. Are you suggesting we invite him to tea and psychoanalyze? I'm suggesting we use our heads. We can make guesses all day, but if we die here, it won't matter. I'm not playing detective, I just want to survive. Playing detective is how we survive. We play his games, we'll lose. We need to outthink him. He's trying to pick us off one at a time. We need to stick together. Hang on. He could be listening to us right now. Where should we go? Back to the ferry. It left, remember? It's on a line. Maybe we could reel it in. Maybe it isn't good enough. The lighthouse. Maybe we can signal for help. There's police boats patrolling the lakes, right? All the way out here? Lighthouses are meant to be seen for miles. Are you shooting any of this? No one is going to believe it without proof. You want me to record him trying to kill us? And the bodies? For the cops? Hear that? The walls are moving again. Kate, hang on. We need to stay close. Why Shit. does she always run Kate. ahead? Kate! Hang on! That's how she got in ah. trouble last time. Ah. And of course that's how they get separated. Ah. Mark! Oh. Jamie! Time for a quick time event. I lost the camera. Oh. Right. Ezekiel says there was a way to save them both, Onks. Yeah, I, I know. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what it was. I think it has something to do with the clue he gave us. He gave us two people chained to a pole with a spinning saw. They pulled, they each pulled on the chain and the strongest survived. So perhaps that was a way of telling us that if we didn't make a choice, 
the strongest would survive, and of course the strongest was the one who wasn't an asthmatic. Hindsight is twenty twenty, And yet the premise of that puzzle was that we could choose who to kill. So could we have saved them both by choosing to kill Kate? Would she have just survived it somehow without oxygen? Or would he have come and opened the door to give her oxygen? I mean, had we chosen to kill the other one, she would have just died. Like, I don't... They didn't give us a third option. Like, there were only three options. Kill Kate, kill the other one, kill them both. And I chose to to kill them both, hoping that at least if the oxygen was distributed between the two equally, that one of them would have a chance to survive. And perhaps that's what happened, because at least one of them did. But could I have, have saved both? I don't know. I'm not sure what I could have done. I was overthinking it, or underthinking it. If I had really chosen between the two, I would have wanted the other one to live, which was my natural instinct, and perhaps that's what I should have done, because then Kate would have survived because she was the stronger of the two. But I thought that if I just didn't make a decision, maybe that's what they wanted me to do, to not make a decision, but that ended up being the wrong decision. Uh, Well, one for sure is dead. I still don't know what I'm supposed to do with this flash. Like, is it just to give me momentary light? Does it have any other in-game purpose? All right, something heavy was dragged through this mud recently. Or this oil on the ground recently. I can open that door. What's over here? Ashamed Spork says you needed to save Aaron. Kate's window was faulty. How would I have known that Kate's window was faulty? Did they give me a clue that her window was faulty? I hit! I hit! I hit! I hit! Oh, for Pete's sake, I'm gonna get them all killed. This is gonna be a short live stream. Oh, this is going to be a short live stream. I'm just going to get them all killed right away. Jeez. No Name says, I fell asleep last week. Did you kill the producer guy or is he still around? I don't know. Um, They left it ambiguous, which makes me think that he's still around. I forgot that I had to hold Q. I pressed Q to hide, but then I released it. I didn't remember that I had to hold Q. This is what happens when you play too many games each and every week. here for your amusement. So now 
know what. Freaking Q. Oh, no, not this freaking puzzle again. No, <laughs> why? Oh, God. For the last time, do not pull the main switch until we get someone out to replace the faulty blah, blah, blah. Oh, man. And remember, the tooltip on the screen is no help at all. You don't use the mouse for this puzzle. We learned that in the first broadcast. No, it's the arrow keys in space. That's right. Arrow keys in space. Uh, what the heck is this? Oh my god. Okay, well, shocking achievement unlocked. Yes, there we go. Right, am I gonna shimmy through this and it's gonna collapse or squish me halfway through? She's going to get squished, isn't she? <laughs> oh, okay, we're all right. <sighs> uh, and they didn't give me a premonition for the last death either. This is bull crap. Well, I mean, I made it through two live streams without anyone dying. Presuming the producer guy didn't die last st live stream. I have a feeling he's still alive. 182. What's the point of the coins? Can I buy one of them back <laughs> with the coins? Can I, can I say, whoops, let me spend my coins to buy one of them back. Oh, red light. Do we go towards the red light? Of course, we've got to go towards the red light. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Is this her room? Yeah, someone must have ransacked it. There's the chat. There it is, the lip balm. Oh, they didn't forget about it. I'm so glad they didn't forget about it. Oh, she puts it back. Right, because it belonged to the other girl. And she's dead. Well, I cut that chapter short. She was cool, too. Man. Roxanne. You don't have to put on that red light. Walk the streets for money. You don't care if it's wrong or if it is right. What the hell? Roxanne. Mm. Well, that's a two-way mirror. They're probably all two-way mirrors. I'm just getting all sorts of coins today. There's another fiver.
Blood spatter. Well, it is glass, so... <clears throat> but we don't want seven years of bad luck. Oh, what the hell? Creepy... A, as they say, F. No Name says, she dead. So by the rules, you now have free lip balm. It's lose win. Yeah, I mean, she got some free lip balm out of it. Examine. Bloop. Jesus. There's cameras everywhere. Two-way mirrors. that one sarah says small tip for making me laugh just by being you thanks <laughs> thank you sarah oh that was gross okay what's behind mirror number two which room was this it also has been ransacked oh no that's her room the one that was ran no was it? Yeah, that's no. It's a different room. Tara, a member for 30 months in the Silver Ox, says, Hey, Ox and all had a great news Monday. Had last treatment in hospital and cancer free. So no more doc for me. Happy times. Congratulations, Tara. That's amazing news. What a victory. What a win. Thank you for letting us know. Are those mannequins in there? They're not moving, so. Yeah. I'm so mad I, I didn't hide correctly. Q. What? What? Oh my god. Oh! oh my god. Yep, that's the producer. He's dead. But he got his cigarette. He is dead. You want to know what it means to be a killer? You ever been to the art museum downtown? They got this painting by a guy, I forget his name, famous painter. He did portraits of slaughtered cows hanging on hooks. You take a normal person to a slaughterhouse and they will puke their guts out. You make it into a painting and suddenly it's art. There's no difference between the two. Not really. Don't look at me like that. You know I'm right. You get it. I know you get it. You got to do something that matters. Make people feel something they've never felt before. Shatter the illusion that any of us are really in control. 
Think of the most profound thing you've ever done. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading, begging. That moment when someone realizes they are at their end, that's when you feel it. That's true art. That's what you have to be, an artist, a sculptor, an architect. I see the gleam in your eye, Agent Monday. You're not fooling me. Look! Ah, oh, look at you now, huh? Am I gonna be your first? Well, come on then, huh? I'm right here. <laughs> this room is soundproof. You don't even have to wait for a plane to fly overhead. <laughs> Potential Agent Monday. If you truly want to be an artist. Right. <laughs> Okay, so did Agent Monday attack the killer or did the killer attack Monday? The execution of H.H. H. Holmes. I got the impression that Monday was so disgusted that he attacked the killer. But did the killer have a secret knife somewhere? And did he slice at Monday? How am I going to save the guy? I've got two dead. I've got three left. I can't have them all die. Especially not the cool ones. I mean, the producer, he was a jackass. I guess I'm not sad he's, he's dead. But the girl was so nice. I'm super sad that she's dead. Find the others, get past the ball. 
So a book. That's really interesting. He threw the book earlier in the game, and it's that book that's keeping the wall from closing, which means his room was that one, I think, or this one. Well, if I move the book, it's going to close. Who says self-help books don't work? Ha, 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 ha. Pretty good at that one. I'm pretty good at that mini game. Investigate the crying. It's all over, but the crying. And I can't get over crying over you. Hello? Yeah, that's a dead person. And that's Can you a recording. Hear me? Oh, don't talk. Don't talk. Why are you talking? That's a dead person. <laughs> it's clearly a recording. I mean, he does so much damage. How does he clean everything up and put it back where it was in time for the next killing? In case you missed me, Michelle, morning, writing, 8 a.m., requested to use the library or the music lounge, so assume I'm in one of those. Lunch slash family time, 2 p.m. Can we dine outside in the garden? Evening writing, 5 p.m. The bar seems like a good writing spot. Dinner, 9 p.m. Kate can use her pencil to find out what was written on the torn paper. Spare room code, 1999. Manny Sherman, The Beast of Arkansas, by Joseph Morello. By Joseph Morello. That wasn't Dumet on the ferry. Mr. Dumet, I presume. Kate found a book by Joe Morello. The author's picture is the man who ferried them to the island. Is it a novel? <clears throat> but honestly, I was glad to be leaving. They'd been nice folks, the Stewarts. Real nice. Both in their 70s now. Dad still strong as an ox, having been a military man before moving to the town to settle and start a family. Mom was starting to get a little frail. You could tell she'd taken it the hardest. Mrs. Stewart had made me coffee. She was functioning okay, but had a dead behind the eyes look. That sounds really mean. Maybe use kinder words? 26 years on, still living in that cocoon of numbness such devastation can bring. I don't like the cocoon sentence. Is there a more relatable metaphor? We talked a lot. They were at ease talking about anything slash everything. The night it had happened, the cruel details, how they felt about him, or how they felt about him. It was just a fact of life to them. Their daughter had been murdered by a serial killer, and that was their world. It was a shock when they offered to show me Mary's room. I was apprehensive, but thanked them and agreed. It would be helpful to get an idea of the kind of girl Mary was. I followed Mrs. Stewart. I could feel the toll of murder had taken. 
of the toll the murder had taken as we walked through the house and upstairs to Mary's room. Her husband didn't like to go into that room. Things were neat and tidy, but shabby. We walked over a beaten old carpet, past outdated wallpaper and paintings, mostly bibli biblically? Biblically? Let's see if I can find it. Mostly biblical. Okay, paintings mostly biblical that were thick with dust. Again, sounds really mean. Can you not just say they had a rough time of it without being so descriptive? I mean, what's the point of being an author if you're not descriptive? Who's grading this? <clears throat> um, the strain and financial impact must have been huge. Mrs. Stewart hadn't worked since Mary's death. Maybe explain why did she find it difficult to face anyone? Her schoolwork was stacked by her bed, and her childhood toys and dolls were still displayed on shelves. What stuck out the most, though, was her uniform, still hanging on the front of the wardrobe, ready for her shift at the diner the next day. Mary was a tiny girl, only five, one, no, not only five, she worked at a diner, only five, one, and weighed less than a hundred pounds. She didn't stand a chance that night she was taken. Go hug Natalie right now, please. What? I kept thinking about her room as I drove through the town. Milton would have been an, un an unremarkable place in 1995, but it was close to lifeless now. Mostly boarded up buildings. The only, shop, uh, the only open shops were liquor stores, which had bums outside them drinking at 11 a.m. It was as if the town had died when Mary did. Eventually, Milton faded in my rearview mirror as the image of Mary's uniform burned into my mind. Later the next day, I finally got back to our house, scrambling over a package sat on our doorstep. A brown box. I had no idea who it was from. Had Michelle ordered something? Nope, it says in the margin. Curiosity took over, and I hauled it inside. Opening it, I found an old tape recorder, along with a quartet of tapes. I listened to the first one. The voice, unmistakable. Mention their interviews? They are interviews? Mentioned they are interviews? It was Sherman. That's it. We can't read any more. Well, here's a doll. Bethany. Bethany. Okay. It's got a battery slot. Does that mean it's going to talk? Don't talk, doll. Not into creepy dolls. Nope. Not that I have experience with any. Dog bowl. Connie. Connie. Bearing updated. Kate found a dog bowl with the name Connie. Okay. 1999. Let's finish exploring. Jeez. There's blood spatter everywhere. Oh, it's awful. It's a little girl crying. Oh, why? Please stop crying, Mommy. Please stop crying, Mommy. Jeez. God, what happened here? Beast's body burgled. Art... <laughs> An article cut from a local newspaper, Manny Sherman's corpse was stolen from its grave. Arkansas, this week, 
The body of the so-called Beast of Arkansas has been removed from its grave by suspected body snatchers. The infamous serial killer, whose real name is Manny Sherman, was executed earlier this month and is his remains buried at an undisclosed cemetery in Springville, Arkansas. Springdale, Arkansas. A senior police spokesman for local law enforcement stated at a press conference, We believe this to be the work of serial killer obsessives and are pursuing various leads. We assume there are multiple suspects involved, but have not ruled out that it may be an individual. Although the burial site is unknown, rumors have been circulating among serial killer enthusiast forums online since Sherman's execution. When questioned by press about such online groups, the spokesperson added, these people who call themselves fans of killers are very foolish. If they were aware of the despicable details of such crimes, as we in law enforcement are, they would rethink their views about celebrating such heinous criminals. Police refused to confirm the name of the cemetery to the media in the aftermath of the news. Toby Noble on Facebook says, Hey Ox, after playing these kind of games, have you started narrating yourself? I think I'll make coffee. Two seconds into making it, I should really get back to footage capture. <laughs> uh, no, I promise you that I don't narrate my daily life. I, Oxhorn, am walking up the stairs. I feel a fatigue in my mind as I open my bedroom door. I see my bed is unmade after not making it in the morning. I feel regret, but then the bed calls. I climb in, and nothing. That's not how I live my life, I promise you. Wait. No, we got that. And we got that. Focus. Focus. All right. Is it... Night. Teen. Ninety. Ragged, wrestling with the shotgun maniac. Let's see if I can even get my characters that far. What is on the other side of the dirty mattress? Do we move it? Of course we do. We're in a horror game, and that's what people do in horror games. They move dirty mattresses. No Name says, admit it. You actually narrate for Chowda. He jumps onto the cat tree and claws at it neatly, as if his claws had been bugging him all night and needed to be stretched. For fun, he jumps on my mantelpiece and knocks over a precious glass vase. Fun for him, but annoying for me. I clean up the pieces. I can't help but admire the cat for his independent spirit as I walk to the pantry to get his cat niblets. He hears me uncork the can. Can you cork a can? No. He hears me use the can opener to open the can. He gets excited. I feed him. He ignores me. Yeah, she's dead. She's dead. Oh my god! Who could have guessed? <laughs> Secret found. Mrs. Morello animatronic. An animatronic of a woman. Real body parts have been used in its construction. It's the woman from the vacation photo. The woman is Michelle Morello. She was murdered by Dumet. What? 
What? But if he's still alive, then what was the burned body in that room? body in that room <coughs> yes so I've only killed one achievement unlocked Phoenix oh they had me going they made me really think that I had burned him oh where's his cigarettes <laughs> does he at least get to keep his pack of cigarettes poor guy he deserves one now. Oh god, but now what? Now I've got to survive. Now I've got the meat cleaver, the meat hook waiting for me. That was the other premonition. Locked. Open. Inspect. God, I can't let this guy die now. Not after all that. Curator is so gonna mock me for killing the girl. He's just gonna have this sly smile and say, So Charlie ended up alive after all. Well done. Too bad the same can't be said for the girl. Do you like torturing asthmatics? Do I go into the room or do I move the box? Let's go into the room first. Then we'll move the box. Just shower. Do we walk into the room? What is that? Is it a dumbwaiter? No, it's a conveyor belt. Okay, that's, that's a big clue. That's a big clue. I'm gonna need to use that conveyor belt to get into that room. So I need to find the other side, but what's in that room? There's nothing good for me in that room. Right, let's move the box. How many mannequin parts does this guy have? Wait, I wonder if I can use this to block something. Can I block that door? To keep him from killing me? I can't, there's rubble in the way. But I wonder if I can block this door. I wonder if that's gonna help me or hurt me later. Okay, that's the room with the conveyor belt inside. That's locked, so we have to go in here. 
there's the conveyor belt. And I no longer have my lighter. Find a way out of the workshop, find a way to power the workshop. And power the workshop. Jeez. Of course. What is that? Warning, entanglement hazard. Automated waste disposal unit. Crushing force 2,000 PSI, 150 tons. Do not get on there, keep off. Riding on the conveyor at any time can cause severe injuries. <laughs> okay. Remember to switch off and lock out. Stay clear of the moving belt. Evacuate via the immediate, the immediate emergency ladders. Ooh, wait, there's an immediate emergency ladder nearby? Is it on the other side of the conveyor? What do I do? What do I do? Do I open it? Or do I talk to the mannequin guy? Ah, let's look at this. Car carotid artery, injection site, jaw, rising or finish hinge, thinner material, fingernails, before skin grafts, keep loose, pins. Extravacular muscles, light contraction, kidneys behind, pancreas, stomach, liver, gallbladder, joint flexibility, overlap on bone, vas du sladderalis, external round, keep open, materials, joints, hinges, etc. Note layering order. PVC alt, grapes. He's twitching. I don't like that he's twitching. Wait. Help me. I can't see your life. A fucking fake. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did. What? Push the buttons? Can I not? Can I not push any of the buttons? Can I back out at this point? Yes. I'm not going to push some random button. I'm going to go push this random button. Could you give me control of the camera? Thank you. I mean, it said something about a ladder. Wait, what's that? <laughs> That's the way to go. Hold on a second. There was something on the ground over here. There's an FBI coat. I missed that. It's a badge. Federal Bureau of Investigation, Department of Justice. Use emergency ladder. I don't see an emergency ladder anywhere around here, so it's gotta be on the other side over there. 
there's kind of a bar in the middle of my way. Uh, all right. Uh, three buttons. No idea what they do. Completely satisfied. Yeah, let's get out of here. Okay. Conveyor belt. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, hold on. <laughs> let's see this again. Keep off! Riding on the conveyor at any time can cause severe injuries. Entanglement hazard. Oh, I'm going to get a ton of uh, quick time events, aren't I? Remember to switch off and lock out. Stay clear of the moving belt. Evacuate via the immediate emergency ladders. Here we go. I missed the quick time and he got knocked in the head. Come on, get to the emergency ladder. I said he's dead so it's me get in here <sighs> thank god <laughs> what the hell is this pleased to see you too Kate glad you're alive listen I was a little too I fast I found out some new information I was what? just a little too fast that guy on the ferry that was not Dumet. That was Joseph Morello. 
He's a true crime writer. I found one of his books. How's he wrapped up in this? I don't know. In one of the bedrooms, there was a body, a woman. She'd been decapitated. It was Joseph Morello's wife. I saw a photo of her. She was called Michelle. So we're not his first victims. Have you seen Mark? No. <laughs> oh, shit. I've seen Demet, though. He's creeping around. Give me a break. Jesus. What is all of this? He's got video feeds. Recording decks, a mixer big enough for countless mics. He's watching yeah. everything. It's more than that. He's got utilities running through here, hydraulics, electrics, everything. He can control the whole building from here. How far down does it go? This all connects. This is how he's getting around the house. Wow. I mean, I'm impressed. No Name says you've killed an asthmatic and an older man. How could you? I mean, you, you got to trim the fat. <laughs> the one time I mess up on the whole holding your breath thing is, the, is when it matters. All the other times, I did it perfectly. I was on point. But the one time it matters, and he gets chewed up in a grinder. <laughs> oh, that was brutal. The poor guy. Come on. This, I could have done that too. I knew what was coming. I missed two quick time events. I got two. I was fine with two, but there was one on the conveyor belt that knocked him silly a little bit. And then that last one when he held his breath, just. Snowman says drink up, Ox. I know, that's what I need right now. <laughs> God. Charlie now. would say this guy is a fractured psyche, that he's wearing a mask to put what he's doing on a different personality. That's probably just his theory because he can't reconcile a human doing this stuff. I think it's a mistake to say he's just crazy. He is in full control of what he's doing. He's just not wired like the rest of us. That's not crazy. Crazy <clears throat> implies out of control. Look at this place. This is methodical. That's not crazy. No. You killed the nice girl, Ox. He's wearing the mask as part of the performance. At best, maybe he's insecure about something and it gives him confidence. Insecure? Like, low self-esteem? Is he uncomfortable at parties? Does, did his mommy not hug him enough? Yeah. That parenting can definitely be a factor. The one nice girl who I actually wanted to keep alive. She was the only one who had any, any, any character attributes that I like, and she's the first person I kill. And I was so pumped that I didn't kill Charlie, only to kill him at the last minute. Ugh. But I mean, it could be a shitty dad just as much, or an uncle, any adult figure, really. Don't you read any of our research? Mm, I just set up the lights. Stop talking, please. Subject, my order, from Amber. I'm sure he fits the profile. Bullied as a kid, unchecked anger. As an adult, he's either an extreme overachiever or a cipher. Nothing between. From Amber Harris to Brandon Day, sent the 6th of June, he 2017. He likes being in a position of power, especially over women. Okay, cool, but why? Lots of people put up with that stuff and don't turn into killers. Aside from the unhealthy obsession with H.H. H. Holmes, he's copying the M.O. Clearly, he identifies with Holmes somehow. Can, can you guys stop for a second so I can read? I can't even hear myself think. You're chattering so much. Can we so use much. this gear to find a way out? Maybe we can open those shutters in the lobby. Yeah. Let me explore! 
Thank you, Brandon. I have instructed our maker to proceed. We will keep you updated on progress with photographs at each stage as promised. As discussed previously, we'll keep the production discreet. Thanks, Amber. From Brandon Day to Amber Harris, sent the 6th of June, 2017. Good morning, Amber. Thanks for your reply and putting my mind at rest. Yes, the cost is perfectly fine. Please go ahead. Reminder, this should remain confidential. Regards, Brandon. From Amber Harris to Brandon Day, sent the 6th of June, 2017. Good morning, Brandon. I can assure you that all of our custom masks are very robust. They are often used in long-running theater productions and filming intense action scenes. The material used for your mask is a plastic resin-coated wood, which provides a toughened strength and is highly durable. Total cost would be $1,800, excluding taxes for a mask? Is this the mask that he wears? The white one? $1,800 for that? Can you let me know if this is acceptable and I will instruct our maker to proceed? Thanks, Amber. From Brandon Day to Amber Harris, sent the 6th of June, 2017. And I can't see the next one. Can I turn it over? Nope. All right. Well, at least these chatty Cathy's stopped chatting long enough for me to explore. Two, four. No. He's been tracking us since we arrived. Mark was last seen in the basement. Lonnet Crew. Charlie, bedroom, bar, restaurant, pendulum bar, kitchen, basement, furnace. <laughs> Aaron, basement, no, bedroom, lobby, restaurant, blackout room, bedrooms, silver ash, suit suitcase room? Charlie Furnace, crossed out. Aaron, suffocation, oh, suffocation room, crossed out. Mark, so they're both dead. Mark. Basement, oh, bedroom, library, restaurant, bedrooms, west corridor, wine cellar, spa, suffocation room, basement. So he's in the basement. Jamie, bedroom, slashed out, uh, restaurant, back of house, bedroom, pendulum room, kitchen lounge, restaurant, wine cellar, spa, suffocation room, south corridor. And then Kate, bedroom, library, restaurant, bedrooms, west corridor, Restaurant, wine cellar, spa, suffocation room, north corridor. Okay, so three are alive. Three are alive. That's good. I can work with three. Wow, I'm super impressed by the infrastructure he has here. Prime Esther says, Hey, Ox, are you going to do the Nuka World DLC for Fallout 76? Uh, probably. I, I'm hoping that I can get to it during my charity live streams. Um, next week. Take a look at this. What is that? The guy we saw murdered. It was a setup? There was no groundskeeper. We saw a guy in a yellow jacket with our stuff. I guess that was Mr. Demet. No, because he was leading the tour. It's not Mr. How are they not putting this together? Mr. Demet was leading the tour when they saw the guy in the yellow jacket. It couldn't can't be the same guy, right? Or am I getting that wrong? Prime Esther became a bronze ox. Thank you, Prime Esther. God, poor Charlie. I mean, he was a jerk, but he didn't deserve that. All right, up or down? Well, Mark is in the basement. Did we go down or up? down as far. Well, now I'm going to wonder what's up. I bet I can explore up later, which means I get to climb the staircase again. Yay. Oh, 
Oh, he's got dossiers. This, this is everything about me. <laughs> Jesus. Personal health and medical form. Patient's name, Jamie Tiergan. Age 26, date of birth, 1996. Identifying gender, female, ethnicity, African-American, blood type, A positive. Eye color, brown. Height, 165 centimeters. Weight, 128 pounds. Name of medical clinic, Running Waters Medical Center. How did he get all of this information? Date of last checkup, 2022. Date of next checkup, 2023. Medical number, etc. Insurance number, blah, blah, blah. Contact number, blah, blah, blah. Next of kin, Wilson Tiergan, father. Employment, lawn and entertainment. Position, lighting technician. Medication, none. Chronic or recurring conditions, none. Allergies, none. Additional notes, none. Handwritten notes. Self-destructive tendencies and impulsive. <laughs> Patient's name, Kate Wilder. Age 30 years old. Date of birth, 1982. Identifying gender, female. Ethnicity, Caucasian. Blood type, O negative. Eye color, brown. Height, 164 centimeters. Weight, 119 pounds. Name of medical clinic, Viewpoint North Medical Center. Date of last checkup, 2021. Date of next checkup, 2022. Medical number, insurance number, contact number, etc. Next of kin, Veronica Wilder, mother. Employment, Lana Entertainment, position presenter. Medication, paroxetine. Started 2021. Initial dose, 20 milligrams orally once a day. Maintenance dose, 20 to 50 milligrams orally once a day. Does that give us a clue? Does What does paroxetine, wh what is it prescribed for? What is that medicine for? If someone wants to look that up and let me know. Maximum dose, 50 milligrams a day. Patient ceased medication on 2022 in favor of natural remedies. Oh, God. Chronic or reoccurring conditions, anxiety. Okay, so the me medication is to treat anxiety. Allergies, penicillin. Additional notes, recurrent PTSD. Handwritten notes, PTSD? Well, we know what that is. From the death of her friend. Because somebody at the, uh, the college party killed her all right um patient's name aaron keenan age 24 years date of birth 1998 gender female ethnicity asian american blood type b positive eye color brown height 163 uh, centimeters weight 115 pounds medical clinic valleydale medical center last checkup 2021 2022 for the next one a bunch of numbers next of kin anya keenan mother employment line entertainment position sound engineer medication cortico uh, steroid inhaler albuterol inhaler chronic or reoccurring conditions asthma so he knew all of this going into it so he could exploit it he circled it allergies house dust might pollen house pets additional notes none handwritten notes self-confidence issues patient name mark nestor age 30 years old date of birth 1992 male african-american blood type o positive eye color brown 178 centimeters weight 220 pounds medical clinic hunters bay medical center fairy man fairy man why is that handwritten Next of kin, Brenda Nestor, mother, employment line at entertainment, position cameraman. His position is cameraman. Why has he written ferryman beneath the portrait? Medication, none. Chronic or recurring conditions, none. Allergies, none. Additional notes, recently treated for acrophobia. Ah, 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 ah. Handwritten notes, none. Okay. <laughs> Borderline narcissist. Charlie Lonnet. 49 years, born 1973, male, Caucasian, A positive, blue-gray eye color, 178 centimeters, 204 pounds, Southside Medical Care, last checkup 2022, next one 2023, medical number, blah, 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 next of kin, Pam Lonnet, mother, employment, Lonnet, entertainment, position director, medication, none, chronic or recurring conditions, none, so he's pretty healthy, allergies, none, additional notes, smoker, handwritten notes, borderline narcissist, that's great. Fear of heights, says Kate. Yeah, we learned that at the beginning of the game in the first broadcast, that he was terrified of heights. And look at that. That's a map of where they all live? Are those photographs of their apartments? How long has he been tracking them? What? June Collins, 41 years open-minded, simple to coerce, healthy, seemingly no major health issues, within a thousand kilometers. Nuclear family of five, is estranged extended family, fluent in Spanish and French, ambidextrous, travels a lot, runs late at night, 
runs when traveling as well. June Collins, is that someone that went missing? Did we read about that previously? Oh, Andrew Collins. We're not the first, are we? 38 years old, average build, did amateur boxing, deal with first, unknown medical conditions, follow up on this. Right-handed, insecure, small but close extended family, will they call them? One parent deceased, other ill, medical bills, pressure, caffeine addict, caffeine addict. How can you be a caffeine addict? Oh, does that mean I am a caffeine addict? Michelle, initially appeared excited, becoming increasingly agitated, rarely alone, more difficult to separate her, wandered the hotel later last night, opportunity, bathed away from family room, noticeably tired towards the end of the day, drinks socially, use this, heavy sleeping pills, target her at the end of the day, give wine and sleeping pills when bathing, separate her. Harrison Lee, death via asphyxiation. Reset trap before the next group arrives. Lewis Lee, drowned, fish body out of a pool. Cecil Hall, death from blood loss after impalement on a sundial. Body disposed of. Kurt Hall, multiple gunshot wounds. Thomas Hall, single gunshot wound, execution. Well, we can't get out any of this, these doors, which means we were right to go downstairs. This is fully explored. Let's go upstairs. Okay, that's the point of no return. Let's finish exploring first. Aha! What is this? Hi, Mr. Monday. This is Lucinda Price from Twilight Prairie Care Home. I tried to call you a couple of times. We, uh... Answer phone tape. An answer phone tape from December 1997 asking someone not to make audio recordings when visiting their mother at Twilight Prairie. The message was from the manager of the retirement home where Lucinda Mundy lived. I, I understand that you're making voice recordings of your mother, and we do believe in supporting relatives, and, and of course, you want to capture those precious memories. But uh, we've had complaints from some of the other residents Monday? Recorded his mother in a nursing home? And it was disturbing. Why? H.H. H. Holmes costume recreation. Guy's dedicated. I mean, he is an artist, I guess. Right. Time to move on. Over here. Look at this. 
It saw his little tricks and moving walls and crap. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against him. I want to find Mark, not play Demet's game. If we trap him, we can look for Mark without looking over our shoulders the whole time. Okay, look. He's in here, right? So we get him to go down this hall, and we trap him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of there. He'd be stuck. Okay. Oh, God. But how do you make sure he goes down that hall to begin with? One of us is going to have to be bait. Oh, God. No, no way. It's too risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. I'd say that's more dangerous. Come on. There's no second chances here. It's my plan. I'll be the bait. If you're sure, just... Oh, dear God. If it looks like it's going south, get the hell out of there. I'm gonna get there her crushed. Uh, oh, nervous. I need that confident. You should take it. You could use that as a weapon if need be. I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm more likely to need it. She's the one going, so that's why I gave it to her. Okay. Oh, dear God. That's enough of a moment? Yeah. Let's do this. Stick to the plan. Obviously. So how do we get out? Third floor must be a work in progress. Okay, be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. Oh my god! No, no. All right. Here goes nothing. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna hate this. Oh, I'm gonna hate this so much. I am so gonna get her killed. I mean, I have no idea where I'm going. I don't I don't remember the blueprints at all. Head down the hall. Keep to the right. Keep to the right? Keep to the right? But I want to explore. Okay, fine. This is not the time to explore. This is the time to keep to the right. Five, five. Five, five. Six. Six. This is where we want to trap him. Uruburur says, Hey, Ox, don't screw up. No pressure. Thank you, Uruburur. So, this is the hallway we want to trap him in between 5-5 five, five and 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> this is hard. This is so hard. Okay, uh. Huh. Was this on the map? I don't know. Okay, it's just north of 5-5. Five five. He's going to jump out from behind this thing, isn't he? Or that thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! 
Maybe don't shout. Maybe don't shout, okay? <sighs> shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. More rooms being built. Hmm. Oh, I'm getting so turned <laughs> around. Coin. Shiny. Hey. That's a new one. Ten. That one's also worth a ten. Okay, so this is that wall we passed on the other side. It's just north of 5-5. Five five. I wonder if that's going to be important later. Okay. This is the room he just walked past. He just walked left in this room. Ah, that's the one mirror we were looking out of. He's on the other side of that door. If what we saw was accurate. Can't open that door. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is safe. Okay, it's, this is the only door we can do. Quick bio break. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to have an empty bladder. Just get a... Be right back. Hold on. Right. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that I'm going to bump into him. He's going to chase me. I'm going to have to retrace my steps back through all of this past door number five. I'm going to have to wait for him to pass door number five, too, before triggering door number five. 
or do I wait until she passes door number six and then do six and then do five? If I do five first, he's going to know what's going on. But then his only recourse is to overtake me before we get to six. That's the only way she's going to get trapped. that one here. We know I'm she so dies sorry. here. We saw it in the premonition. Apologetic, I can't let myself die. Defiant, I'm not playing. I'm sorry, I have to. I promise. 
way to go. Jamie wouldn't press the button. She chose to spare Kate at the cost of her own life. Admirable. People can surprise you sometimes. Jamie chose not to save Erin when she could, leaving her to die, deprived of oxygen, suffocating to death. Charlie. He managed to escape the furnace, only to fall straight into Jumet's grasp. Yeah, I know, I know. Rub it in. Did the hint I gave you earlier help? No, they never help, thanks. Perhaps you'd like another. Yes. Let's see if Sir Arthur can help us. This is from the man with the twisted lip. Have you read it? Should. A trusty comrade is always of use, and a chronicler still more so. I think that last bit might refer to me. You should get back. I hope these chats are helpful. I certainly wouldn't want them to be intimidating. I'll be watching your progress, as always, watching very closely. Okay. So, I gave the screwdriver to the wrong person, apparently. The, though, of course, there was no way for me to understand which person was supposed to use the screwdriver in which case. It was just a... I thought the person going out into the traps would need the screwdriver. But no, it turns out that wasn't it at all. I mean, I had to pass a couple of quick time events, but ultimately whatever I did there didn't really matter because we were being herded into a pressure chamber. So we get into the room with a sliding wall and Kate says she doesn't have the screwdriver. Okay, that made me think that perhaps whomever had the screwdriver could alter the switch in some way to break it or to fix it, right? If I had pushed the button and sent it the other way towards Kate, she didn't have the screwdriver, so she couldn't have done anything, right? So I thought, well, okay, so I've got the screwdriver on my end. Maybe I can fiddle with the switch or something with the screwdriver. But no, no, the premonition came true and she gets squished, even though she has the screwdriver. So maybe the screwdriver wasn't meant for that room. Maybe it was meant for another room. <sighs> Whoever had the screwdriver could survive, says Tony Bain. That's what I thought. I thought that that was the point of the screwdriver. But they never gave me an opportunity to use it. Did I need to push the button first? Maybe if I had pushed the button to send it the other way. As the wall moved, it would have revealed something that she then could have used the screwdriver on. Maybe that's what it was. Oh. Well, PTSD again, I guess. Right. Ah! 
Audrey says, uh, says, I think the game glitched or something. I did the exact same thing, and she survived in my playthrough. Really? Tragic Perio says, I think Jamie lost the screwdriver when you failed a certain quick time event during the chase. Oh, maybe, but I didn't see her lose it. I think there was a quick time event that I failed on my way out while I was running, but I didn't see her lose the screwdriver at that point. <laughs> All right, well, at least those I'm good at. Paul Big says the screwdriver was supposed to get wedged and stop the glass from going on the way. Maybe I needed to make a different choice then, because I first chose to push the button, and then I, I thought that I could use the screwdriver to sort of fiddle with the button. Maybe instead I should have chose the option to say, I'm not playing your game, and then she would have given me an opportunity to use the screwdriver. Maybe I just made the wrong choice. Lyle well, Big says, no, you did it right. It just bugged. Really? How is that possible? <laughs> <laughs> Psycho! <laughs> Not this. I've already killed one person to this. No. Yes, the one 
I can actually do! Oh, yeah! Oh, finally! Oh, he's probably not dead. Go down and make sure he's dead. Come on, kill him. Kill him. Spike him with something. Spike him. Right through the heart. He's gonna... She's gonna walk up, and he's gonna suddenly come to life. It's not over. It's not over. Come on. It's... Rot in hell. It's... Asshole! He's not dead. He's gonna hop... Jump right up. See? Watch. <laughs> I told you what I say! Bullcrap. Bullcrap. Come on. Finally! <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's see, where's my rum? There it is. Jackrabbit says, falls off like four stories and stands up perfectly fine. I know, right? He even hits scaffolding on the way down. He's just, that doesn't faze him. He's all right. Okay. Can I not shimmy? Can I not shimmy? No shimmy? Keisha says, you did amazing, Ox. <laughs> Thank you, you're very generous. I mean, I've killed three people. <laughs> but I'll take the amazing for now. Uh, I mean, as long as two live, or as long as one lives, I guess. Uh, how can I not shimmy through that? Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Why can't I shimmy through this? It's going to make me follow his trail. Oh, man, if I have to hide from him. Oh, of course there's a painting in a maze. Of course there is. Premonition unlocked. Searching. Maybe put the flashlight down? Yeah. You're right. Having a light in here is probably a bad idea. This is the way he went. Only way out is through. God. 
Yeah. Without a light. <laughs> Freaking crow. Just, just annoying at this point. I mean, I could use the light. I can't see a thing. Could he even see a light? I mean, if this were real life, yeah, but it's a game. Did they program him to be able to see it if you use a light? Okay, that's illuminated with the bulb isn't on. Okay, fine. Turn it off. Which is the way I can. Oh my god. <laughs> this is gross. Her, her concern is that it's gross because it's raining. She just saw her friend smashed and she's like, oh, this rain is gross. Okay, so we found toys. We found a saddle. We found a bench. Oh, oh my god, I can't see. I can't see. Ah! I mean, he could be here, and I wouldn't be able to see him. No, no, the chat says turn off the light. Okay. Oh, here we go. I know he's your son, but I married you for you, not your son. Besides, it's your ex-wife's responsibility to stop him from doing stupid things, not mine. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm maybe just depressed already because of this trip. It's not what I had in mind when you said you were taking me away to a secret island. I don't care if he is Harrison Lee, the famous horror fiction writer. You only work for him. You don't have to go on vacation with him, too. Can we spend some time, just the two of us? Cecile. Dear Kurt. I thought it would be easier to write this down because I get upset when I try to talk to you about it. I'm in distress. You know I don't get along with Thomas. I just don't get why we have to take him everywhere with us. By your own admission, he's a stinking nightmare, and it's getting me down having him around all the time. Okay, now the chat is saying I can use the light. Thank you, chat. Watch, he finds me because I turned my light on. Oh god, this is so creepy. All right, it's a creepy little mannequin bar.
God, which way? That goes back towards the house, doesn't it? He was lying on the ground, passed out, and instead of beating him with a piece of rebar that she had, instead of smashing his head in, she just curses at him and walks away. Oh, into the little box. Oh, this is brilliant. Yeah, let's walk into the little box. This won't come to haunt us. Power cords. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, up. What is this maze, man? Hey, got a coin. Worth 10. Okay, a switch. We'll take that. Is this going to make the whole thing start moving? Is this what you really... <gasps> Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Do we really want to turn this thing on while a mad murderer is chasing us? But it's really our only option. Everywhere else is a dead end. Probably not a good idea to turn this on. Oh, gate. Locked. Do we push the big red button? Power up the control box. Okay, trying. Right, I'm missing something. I've got a switch. I probably have to use it down here. Let's follow the cords. To... Oh, it goes over there. Okay. Let's see if I can figure this out. <laughs> Investigate the control box. Well, if that didn't tell him where we were, I wonder what else would.
Come on. Why is this not working? There we go. It takes a while to kick in. to get the secret passage okay why would we do this Morning, Chicago. We begin today with some breaking news. Chicago police today confirmed the body of a man found in a fire at an abandoned warehouse in the Fulton River District to be that of missing FBI agent Hector Monday. Monday has been identified as the shoeshine killer whose recent killing spree struck fear into the hearts of locals in and around Chicago. A spokesperson for Chicago PD confirmed Monday murdered four victims, including yesterday evening police officer Patrick Stanley, a dedicated veteran of 22 years. The fire was brought under control shortly before 5 a.m. this morning. The body recovered at the scene was burnt beyond recognition, but police identified Monday from dental records. Mm. <clears throat> Maybe he didn't die. But how would he leave his dental records behind if he didn't die? How would he leave his teeth behind if he really didn't die? All right. That one's worth 10. Or not, five, that's right. Well, this is probably where he went to. We both got lost in the maze, and it's his maze, so he knew this was here. We're probably walking right to him. Out we go. And into his arms. Okay, we made it out of the... Okay, we can't interact. Ooh. There's the sundial that the other guy got skewered on. Remember, we read about that, and it's still covered in blood. Kurt Hall, publicist. Right, well, we can't interact with that door. Oh, 
All right, so this is a dead end. I mean, I don't understand why we couldn't open that door. We are on the other side of it. The latching bar is here. We could open it. Why can't we open it? Okay. Well, we made it to the other side of the gate. There's the uh, contraption we activated. But now we gotta go in here. Oh, one of them is him. One of them is him. <laughs> no. Oh, for Pete's sake. Which one is him? No. No. God! <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Way to give him an idea. Run, now! Climb. Oh, that was a quick jump. <laughs> oh no. Come on, please don't do this. So when she falls, she dies. But when he falls, he's fine. <laughs> that got you all too, huh? I knew one of them was him. And I was going to figure out which one before I walked by. But no, he jumped us. He jumped us all real well. <laughs> I don't have any more time. I'm out of time. Oh, is there a body in the pool? That's a mannequin in the pool. <sighs> I'm probably either right at the end or right at the good part. I still don't know what I'm supposed to do with the camera. Is it just a light source, I guess? Find a way into the changing rooms. The white wolf says that I'm at the end. How close am I at the end? Because I can't go too far over. I gotta get the kids to school in the morning and I gotta get some sleep. If it's like 30 minutes, yeah, I could do that. If it's like an hour, Snowman says, can we call it? I've had enough disappointment for one night. Ouch! Are my gaming failures that disappointing for you? <laughs> I don't, like, like, when I start these games, you all say, kill them all. I hope they all die. Oh, that character is annoying. I hope she dies first. And then I actually kill off the characters instead of saving them. And you're like, oh, man, so disappointing. Oh, Oxhorn, can we finish already? Oh, it's good. How could you do that? Oh. <laughs> oh, make up your mind, guys. Whatever Tube says, Ox, you're so close. Keep going. And also, Enclave in Space. All right. Thank you, Whatever Tube. There we go. 
Someone has a key. That's a real hand. Jesus. That's a real hand. Oh. There's the key. Changing room. <laughs> nice. Would you like a towel, sir? Yes, thank you. Oh. oh. Do we open the stall that has blood under it? Of course we do. This is a horror game. Knock, knock. Oh, God. What happened here? Let's find out. Wow, that was some force, whatever that was. Jeez. What's that? <laughs> it's a bird. It's just, it's, it's a bird. It's totally just... A squirrel? A bird? Squirrel? We've got squirrel birds. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that's <laughs> Oh, mannequins. Always with the mannequins. Oh, jeez. Okay, could could you guys stop moving? Oh. Harrison and Lee Lewis, 6 Wedding ring. Yeah, I'm gonna just uh, put that back. All right. Cody Lunden says, uh, it's like Pokemon. Gotta get some. <laughs> I, need, I need to go to sleep. <laughs> I need sleep at this point. Oh, God. Oh. This wood falling from the ceiling right in front of me. Oh. Well, that's still more. I have still more knocking, huh? Ooh. What the hell? Jeez. Jake Wood says the smoker only fainted when he went through the grinder. He's not dead. Yeah, well, I can't wait to finish his story. Can I uh, crawl under that? Yes, I can. Shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. Oh, why is this place... <laughs> shouldn't. Oh. All right. Ah. I'm getting lots of coins. I mean, if the, if the point of this game was to collect coins, I'm, I'm doing really well with the coins. But uh, yeah, not so much the rest of it. I could totally open that door. Right. Oh. 
Yeah, just... <laughs> So he jumps down anyway? Oh, shit. I passed it. I passed that quick time event, and he jumped down anyway. Well, I mean, he wanted to get out of there, and he got out of there. Took the uh, shortcut, I guess. At least they're both out of the murder hotel. I'm surprised this guy is still alive after, um, I failed that quick time event. I wonder what would have happened had I actually succeeded. Okay, do I go up or do I go in here? I think I go in here and then go up. We'll just keep pushing big red buttons as we find them. That's supposed to bring the ferry back, right? Lighthouse. Okay, is that it for here? Right. All right, so I'm glad I came here first. I can't get the ferry to come back, but I can explore around. See if there's any more coins. Hey. Gotcha. there. Can't get through there. Right. We go up. Got to shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. Makes you wonder if the other people he killed gave him so much trouble. Because these characters didn't die the way he intended. Some of them did, but most of them, or many of them, are um, keeping him on his toes. Perhaps that's the fun for him. Oh no! Bridge is out. Shoot. Shoot indeed.
can't leap that? Oh, okay. Guess I need to go up somehow. Ah, shimmy. Anthony says his file did say fairy man, didn't it? It did. Interesting point. But our murderer can't predict the future. Can't predict that he would be down here trying to get the fairy working. So what does it mean? Is that where I'm supposed to go, or this way? <laughs> One of these ways will have a secret. Ah. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Shit. Another coin. Getting all the coins. Okay, so that's the way I would have come had I gone through there. So what's the way forward? Over here. Nope. Okay, well, we'll try this. Okay, what am I missing? Am I missing another leap or a shimmy or what? Do I leap up there? Do I shimmy down here? <laughs> ah! It's a shimmy. Back to where I was? <laughs> I see. I was supposed to leap. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's leap again. At least I got a coin out of it. Huh. Right, we're on the other side of the rope bridge. Okay. We climb? 
Yeah, we climbed. I mean, at least he's not saying something, muttering to himself this entire time. Should have thrown it past him. I guess I was supposed to throw it past him, not throw it at him. Ah, oh, just a shimmy. We're good. He's overcoming coming his fears. This is great. Where did the dog come from? It's just random. Maybe they mentioned it earlier. Okay. Oh, great. Really? I'm gonna go down there. I think I found it. For the man who's afraid of heights, this must be an absolute nightmare. Damn it. <laughs> he is full of the expletives. All right, let's see. There was a little path over there. This appears to be blocked. Is there a path over there? No. So we go this way. I'll light up a new cigar real quick. Grantham Dumet Doctor. So each of the business cards says something different. Depending on who he's trying to lure to the island. 
Builder. Doctor. Hotelier. Going up, I guess. There's a ladder right in front of me. There was a body or something hanging in there. <coughs> and we're back in. That's the next game. And that means we're nearing the end of this one. Looks like the next game is uh, going to take place in space. So he didn't have the card trick. The other guy had the card trick. Right, but there's nothing else in here. So what am I doing wrong with that drawer? Is it space? Well, I guess I go back this way. Cody London says you should try and find time to play the Life is Strange series. I played the first one, and it is great. Gotta kill them all, Ox. Cheers. Thank you, Cody. Maybe I will. did that solve? Okay. Well, let's go down and find out. 
That drawer is going to annoy me. Okay, I need to push it. No way back out now. What is that smell? Oh no. Ugh. Oh great. <laughs> oh, look at that. Well, the clothes of murdered people. So an autopsy room or something. What's this? Cameras on the scenes that we just came from. So this is how she how he knew where she was, I guess. Oh, I hope we don't have to open one of these. Dear God. Who, who? Oh, of course he's hiding in one. Oh, of course he is. So this is this is where he found out where she was. He went to the monitor and waited until he saw her. Ah, but now he sees damage. And he knows someone is here. So he's going to come back in, and we're going to have to hold our breath. See now. I mean, the first place you look is in one of those freezers. The fact that he doesn't just lift up the freezer lid. If he's suspicious, he would just lift it up. Locked in. No. <laughs> Cody says death. Death. Sorry to disappoint. I actually survived. James Spinner says after this playthrough, are you going to go back and make a full survivor playthrough? Absolutely not. All right. Let's see if anything changed on the monitor. No. Okay. There was something shiny over here. How's your head? Two victims discovered with heads switched. Hazardous roof, keep out. I can't read it. Forensics outside abandoned warehouse where two unidentified bodies were discovered. Another gruesome scene was discovered in an abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of um, Dalton, Georgia. The two victims are believed to be 
the latest in the homicidal spree of the imaginary killer. Alongside the two victims, FBI agent Monday reportedly counted multiple re repurposed body parts at the crime scene that appeared to be from past victims. Monday described the macabre animatronics uncovered as deranged creations that are an insult to the victim's humanity. DNA is yet to confirm if they are, in fact, the missing body parts of previous victims. So did he get a lot of his ideas from previous cases that he examined? Right, let's get out of here. Okay, so I've got something that I can push and that I can climb upon. But I've also got a staircase right there and another place over there. Okay, let's explore over here. Oh, I see. I can't actually climb the staircase. Okay. <clears throat> um, that's a door. That's the way out. Let's see what's in here. Bodies on ice. Jesus. Harrison Lee. What the hell? <laughs> Is he surprised by now? What the hell? I didn't expect to find a body here. Oh my god. Mr. Lee Harrison. 175, uh... 10-622, subject dead by asphyxiation, subject washed, freezing, not required as formaldehyde solution has been prepared, moving to curing house to commence preservation, early decomposition has not yet shown obvious deterioration, viable specimen for animatronic integration, formaldehyde fixation solution introduced to subject's cardiovascular systems, fixation solution process complete, subject added to acetone bath, re-examination in 24 hours. No issues found with subject in acetone. No signs of rigidity as of yet. Re-examination in 48 hours. Good progress. Signs of rigidity in extremities. Previous subject, Mr. Lewis Harrison, required disposal in acid bath rigor mortis reached skin causing severe blistering, resulting in unviable specimen. Possibly due to subject's smaller stature expediting decomposition. Expediting ex uh, decomposition. Delay to fixation, commencement, or formaldehyde level. Estimate too low. Continued positives progress. Extremities fully hardened, extending into stiffness of limbs. <clears throat> right. Let's see, I suddenly got distracted. <clears throat> Where was I? Uh, Re-examining in one week. Limbs 50% hardened. Acetone drained and replaced. Re-examine in 24 hours. No issues with new acetone replacement. Re-examine in one week. Step one, fixation. Step two, dissection. Step three, removal of body fat and water. Step four, impregnation. Step five, positioning. Step six, curing. Impregnation with like a, a, a silicone or plastic or something so that they would become opposable animatronic. Disgusting. This is a straight up operation. Oh my god. All right, what was over here? Alternate, this is dispatch. Be 
on the lookout for a male suspect believed to be the Shoe Shine Killer. Suspect is FBI Special Agent Hector Monday. He may be armed and is highly dangerous. Dispatch, this is Officer Martinez. I found Monday's car, requesting backup. Officer Martinez, what's your location? A warehouse on Park Avenue, Fulton River. Looks abandoned. Officer Martinez, back up on its way. Hold your position. Copy that. Shit! He's seen me! Officer Martinez, hold your position. No! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Shit! We have a situation. Dispatch, the building's on fire. Fire department on their way. He's still in there. You read me? Copy. He's still in there. So that's the cop he killed. And that's where... He supposedly died. Hmm. Okay, so there's a way out over there. I need to get this open. I need to get this open. Okay. But what about this? place is sprawling. That's the body I saw through the window. Coin. No, ring. Another ring. Harrison and Lewis. Oh God, a hallway of death, of course, of course, hanging bodies. Ah, that's how we're going to get it open. We push. That's right, this guy's a heavy breather. Sure he hurt that. These guys are so not concerned with making noise. Hope this holds. Wait, so I guess he must have climbed down in the cutscene, because we were on the top floor when we pushed that. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. That's our way out. Don't fall to your death. Okay, no quick time event. Nice. Oh no. I am 42 minutes over time. 
How close am I to the end here? Navigate the forest. Get away from Dumet. <clears throat> no Name says, Tonight the poor asthmatic girl is going to haunt your dreams. I hope not. You're almost done, says the chat. You're right at the end, says the chat. these coins for? I feel like we've gotten pretty far in the game to not understand what the purpose of these coins are for. Francis Morello. Francis Morello. Oh. It's his wallet. Thanks for the day out, Uncle Francis. Right, a torn piece of clothing. No Name says the coins apparently unlocked bonus features. to get the farmhouse right guys i gotta call it <laughs> there's a lot to do here and i'm not gonna do it right now i gotta i gotta end the broadcast we've got a farmhouse we've got a little shed A hundred coins, that's got to be worth something. Whoa. 
There's the body. There's a key. Shed. Right. I probably have like an hour or so left of the game. Um, but I'm not going to do it now. I'm completely out of time. I'm already uh, over 50 minutes, almost 50 minutes over time. So I'm going to call it now. We'll complete this game in my next live stream. Same Ox time, same Ox channel next week for Scotch and Smoke Rings. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I don't have a live stream tomorrow. Remember, I'm pausing my live stream tomorrow so I can work on my lore videos. Uh, but never fear, I'm making great progress on my lore videos, and I should have the next episode in my full story of Fallout uh, 4 done in due time. Have a wonderful night, everybody. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you all again very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.